joining me, and uh, I'm excited to be the race. Oh, same to you, GPS. Uh, I'm super excited about this race. Uh, Lock against Sheep Launcher. Uh, both are on one button. Can both be easily one and zero at this this point, and uh, see a little bit of, of fun on Sheep's side there with the uh, the minions. So that's always fun to see, and uh, we see uh, defeat Wyvern and get Kane. And we have our buddy Donkey Kong Cecil at the helm, so uh, it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a race. We'll be we'll be super critical who that uh, DKC is paired with to start off because uh, there's plenty of plenty of characters we can be paired with, but, but uh, our races are gonna be at a huge disadvantage uh, getting getting enough damage to take down other bosses. For sure, um, it is possible that our our friend DKC does have a black sword which is is pretty powerful in the beginning game if he gets stuck with the shadow sword then things are, are gonna be rough that's for sure yeah those uh those new flags which would start characters off with random items have been uh, have been just kind of pretty both helpful and uh upset depending on where they come in and the black sword on dkc for a start is super helpful and, and edge not starting with his twin short swords can be devastating so they are. They can help, but uh, they, they, it's just nice to mix things up now. Absolutely. Either way, uh, I uh, I look forward to this race, and uh, I look forward to commenting with you. Uh, just to let everybody know on the back side, we've got a ground flyer doing the tracking, clicking the buttons, and we've got Gambit making sure that everybody's screen looks great and everything looks great. So just shout outs to, to everybody. Uh, back there. Sometimes they don't get uh, enough credit to make all this happen. I think we're going to be starting uh, any moment. Yeah, and this uh, this race, it's, I'm actually uh, pretty excited for this race. I mean, there are two strong competitors. Uh, their losses in round one both came from equally or if not stronger competitors. Uh, Sheep Launcher losing his first match to Wee Bear and Locke losing his first match to Zilch. Um, both both are on probably my short list for making it to, to the bracket round. So uh, they're, they're O zero and one uh, status right now might be the season. Right? This, uh, this is going to be a, a great race versus two very skilled players. Agreed, one hundred percent. Losing to those two competitors is definitely uh, nothing to see. But uh, away we go here, and let's see who our friend DKC is going to meet at the uh, Baron Castle and its good friend Pora, and they get an apple for their troubles. Yeah, so uh, I guess commentators curse because this this party is not going to be doing too much damage. Uh, but let's see if uh, Cecil could have that black sword. Orm could start off with uh, with maybe a bow and arrow. Or she just starts off with staff and just so uh, it'll be interesting to see which way our our opponents go. Maybe they go uh, the same way. Uh, what would you do? In in this case, GPS. Oh well, I mean, the the starting item was the I believe it was a silver apple, so that doesn't really give us any any indication of, of a direction to go in. Um, I typically uh, will start off either going to Hobbs or to Damsian. Uh, Damsian only because be, uh, with the pink tail required, I can do quick looting there and launch that uh, hovercraft, and uh, then I don't have to. Well, it looks like we were both wrong here. It looks as though they both went to Baron Inn. And we see uh, another Cecil there. That's good to see. And uh, Ashura in a pretty easy spot. So that's always good to see. And they do pick up a Black Sword, even if they didn't have one. They had a Darkness, so uh, that will definitely help them out. And the uh, the Baron Gift Shop not providing too, too much. Yeah, Black Sword will help us get through some of the early bosses. I think the, the character on Hobbs is going to be extra critical, though, either either way. Yeah, you'll you'll definitely want uh, someone to power only. Maybe Kane's just hanging out there, waiting to be picked up. Maybe it's maybe it's a Yon. Maybe it's a Tella. Ho hopefully, it's somebody. Could be a could be a, a Kane gated by a wire, and then this is going to be a super jet seed. It could be anything. <laughs> it very well could be. We see some uh, some more looting by our, our runners there. Definitely not uh, not a bad choice. Uh, I would probably do the same. 
because uh, you you want to see uh, what the seed's going to at least give you, and uh, and go from there. That's for sure. Yeah, it looks like they picked up a heroin robe. Uh, lock right now equipping power shirt, heroin robe, crystal ring. Uh, that white wizard has gone from being uh, fairly useless to uh, potentially a powerhouse early on. Yeah, we were worried about damage. I I see that not being. Uh, as big of a problem now with uh, that ninja hat being picked up and uh, we will see maybe uh, we're going to see uh, both of them uh, not fade in line and uh, go there next but uh, we'll definitely see uh, with the uh, with the boss hunt in effect we're also going to it'll be interesting to see when they check those, uh, those early boss stats um even, even the most experienced runners, if they wait too long, uh, they're easy to forget they that Miss Cave and the Waterfall Spot. Uh, they're just they're a little bit elusive and uh, focusing on getting those DMs. That's for sure. I've, I've definitely uh, faded those, uh, not on purpose, but uh, just the way that happens. And it looks as though it's uh, a spoony bard up against uh, some evil, evil imps. Well, we might be able to get a little bit extra experience if uh, if our runners can get the life glitch off here, but um, not going to be a tough boss fight, but Edward's not exactly going to be uh, going to bring an exceptional amount of damage to the party. And it looks like uh, Worm out of the gate here is just going to decide, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm going to do the work. Cecil, Edward, you you both relax. I'll just bonk up for 564. No big deal. Yeah, and... Uh, I'm starting with that uh, the bow, bow and arrow, so she is backward glitched, able to do a ton of a ton of damage and, uh, and still be protected by the being able to put it back to the lines. Keep going uh, a slightly different direction using that. Uh, oh my goodness, brain fart. The uh, the ice. Oh my goodness, the blizzard. Um, unfortunately, uh, Blizzard's uh, damage is based on your character's HP level, so uh, it really didn't do a, a lot of damage to those things, unfortunately. Yeah, some of those, um, some of those J items can be a little bit tricky like that. Um, you know, the, the ones that are always useful, like Gaia Drum or, or Big Bomb, those, those are those are golden. But if you have a low HP party, yeah, those those are. But still, uh, she's getting through there uh, without much trouble. And now you have a bard. Maybe you hope for a spoon here in uh, in Antlion Cave. I, I, uh, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> I would not say no. Um, Locke picking up a silk web. That's, uh, that's definitely going to put one less out of my might save or shot trip later on. Uh, typically like to have three silk webs going into the Zeromas fight. But if I have one locked in, uh, I may choose to just kind of skip over the checks on the other and just go with it. For sure. I agree uh, with you 100% there. Um, looks as though Sheep is uh, just to say, you know what, Form, you've, you've done enough damage. Let's uh, let's turn you back into uh, a white mage there. And we'll give this stuff to, to Eddie and see what he Yeah, seeing a seeing a decent amount of looting here in the Antlion Cave, I think that um, the typical play by me, if I don't start off with a character that has exit, I will avoid that watery pass, which can be pretty lucrative, but is a, is a very long check if you don't have a, a way to exit. Out there. Agreed, 100%. Uh, if I don't have a teller or a way to exit out, uh, I usually skip a uh, watery pass in my runs, but. Uh, we will definitely see what's going on here as we have Locke and an Octoman. How exciting. This is, uh, this, I believe, is French Vanilla, right? This should be, this is one boss check before, uh, just after the waterfall. I agree with you 100% on that one. Lock is through that fight right away. <laughs> that poor, I'm doing a ton of damage, and we got the magma key as a as a reward for that. So underground access is going to be free today. I definitely won't say no to a magma key. I get to drop it down a well, 
You get to hear a, a little explosion, and uh, things are good. It's also, I, don't know, I always like to get that magma key before doing the uh, the Fabul check. It's uh, it just save, saves one trip there, and uh, and the you know maybe forty five seconds required for that. For sure, and uh, Sheep finishing off the fight again, uh, also with no problem, getting a magma key for his troubles, and uh, he's going to run out of here, and we will see where they go. It looks as though Locke has instantly decided, you know what, I'm going to drop down that key down that well and uh, go underground and get my free checks out of the way. Uh, first, I'm going to do a little shopping, uh, put that ribbon in the trash, as I say. Or equip it, I guess. I hear it's kind of good. Yeah, my, my mind really is uh, focused on party composition right now because uh, even even though overworld bosses, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that this, these parties can get through Fubul. They may have some trouble with Baron in, especially that second spot that's a little punchy. May have some trouble with Man Ordeal, depending on who's there. Um, so if one of these free items is a character gating item like a darkness crystal or a hook, it'll be it'll be a huge boon. Agreed. Zoom zoom. Although still, still uh, definitely uh, a far ways away, but uh, looking pretty pretty jetty right out of the gate here. But we will see what the underground uh, has in store for us. Yeah, just because just because all you know all these underground checks are opened up, that doesn't mean we can uh, we can knock off these objectives any faster. <laughs> nope, that's for sure. They can uh, lead us on a, a wild goose chase. That's for sure. As we see, uh, Locke is going to go down to Tamra. Maybe we will get that job or check. We'll be so lucky. I hope he's a fraud investigator. And there's some cabins. I have I have certainly seen the gated shops be very sparse. Um, the the items that our runners are going to be looking for. It was something aircraft related. Did you catch that? Yeah, I, I caught about the same. It looked like an aircraft officer of, of some sort. But. Uh, I appreciate Locke uh, validating the seat, so uh, he's good to go. Look, maybe Sheep Watcher will uh, pause a little longer on that for us. I'll hold my comment just so we can focus on getting this very important job wharf check. Aircraft launch and something. I'm, I'm with the GPS. I saw aircraft launch something <laughs> and officer. So uh, if if anybody in chat, oh, Gambit, thank you so much for, for bailing us out there. Aircraft launch and recovery officer. I have never seen that one. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, but down here in the in the gated shops, we're looking for sirens. We're looking for hourglasses, Bacchus wines. Um, really highly uh, utility high utility items that are going to get us through various bosses are going to are going to lead into grinds uh, and lock finding those hourglasses in the, uh, in the fey march um, and i definitely have seen seeds where uh, all of those all of those crucial items are not available and it's a real bummer when it happens so just seeing cabins in uh, tamara uh, is, is is stressing me out but Getting those hourglasses here uh, eases me up. I still, I'm still looking for sirens everywhere I can. Absolutely, same here. Uh, looks as though uh, Sheep was playing uh, avoid that monster box, uh, but he did run into it. But does know that there's a Zeus gauntlet down there, so that's he's definitely probably going to go back for that. And uh, while uh, Sheep was doing that, Locke was nice enough to uh, check the free chest, and he got a white spare for his troubles. And it looks as though it's either Mylon or Mylon Z, and uh, a, a, a small wall blocking uh, their progression there at the Fey March. Yeah, Zeus Gauntlet's huge. Uh, it's a huge get. Um, but the these flags they do start off uh, they, uh, start us off with a with a pretty good kit, which includes a strength wing and a dwarf axe. Um, unfortunately, both our runners have not gotten any characters who can wear that strength ring or that Zeus gauntlet. So, uh, still, it's setting up for late, late game. Uh, well, mid game, really. Gambit, our restreamer, correctly 
uh, indicating that the wall is in the wrong spot. We would like to see them flip, but uh, you know, you, you get what you get. Yeah, walls walls upsetting in either of those spots, but the, the Leviathan spot's super punchy. Um, it's going to do a lot of damage to individual characters, uh, and it's going to just soak up the, that damage. So, uh, not going back to Fame Merch anytime soon if that's if that's going to be an option. Berserk now indicating that uh, the evil wall fight is free with uh, Edward in that ribbon, absolutely, because uh, the uh, the way that uh, the ribbon works, uh, it uh, avoids the crush that uh, evil wall can do. So uh, definitely uh, not free. It would not be fast at this particular moment to, to encounter that, but uh, definitely will not be a problem for our runners. As we temporarily uh, lost sheep here, I'm sure our restreamer is, is on that. So uh, just just hang tight. Look at Lockstream. He's gonna go. He's gonna go to a castle and uh, play defend defend that king. And uh, he's gonna do a, a little bit of shopping in in the meantime here. Seeing some uh, some decent equipment, but nothing uh, nothing of consequence. That's for sure. Don't hate a Blizzard spear if that's my only option when I when I do pick up that cane though. Although I think we did pull a white spear out of that uh, out of the Fame March chest, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the white spear. I mean, you know, if times were tough and I needed to sell it to get a Blizzard spear, sure, why not? But uh, for now, I I think we'll we'll see Kane if uh, they ever find him uh, rocking that white spear. That's for sure. Yeah, but I th think. Uh, is and refresh my memory if I'm incorrect, but one fourth uh, sale price is on in these flags, right? It is. So that white sphere goes for a grand total of twenty six thousand five hundred. And in uh, the ultimate uh, betrayal here, it looks as though Yang has decided to turn against his people, doing his best cane impression, and uh, our team should definitely not have a problem with them here. Yang, Yang uh, for being the muscular karate man, has a very very soft head. So he gets amnesia, he gets knocked out, and spends a lot of time in the in, uh, in the sylph cave. He, uh, you know, he's got a got a soft spot. There. Absolutely, and Locke uh, making very quick work of uh, everybody's favorite karate man. And uh, we will see what the king has for him. I anticipate maybe a gold app. <laughs> Just you just cursing them right right from right from the start. Someone's got to try. Oh, it's a it's a fancy sword. Some Hanzo steel to make us feel a little better. Um, of course, uh, with the the ten distinct flag on, we are not guaranteed to see a ninja. So <laughs> it might uh, it might just be a big bundle of cash. Uh, absolutely, and also we've already seen uh, a duplicate Cecil uh, sitting in Baron Castle, so. Uh, we do see a, a Luka key from Sheila 1 uh, after uh, Locke went into the Sylph Cave and uh, bonked, uh, bonked Yang with a life potion or, or something to that effect. And uh, so we'll see if uh, he decides to go back underground or are they going to climb ordeals at this point? What would uh, what would you do, GPS? Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I mean, so the the character at Baron Inn doesn't give us any any additional utility until he becomes that paladin. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna push through Mount Ordeals. That's that's exactly where I would go. Um, there's there's a couple of rude bosses that you could see here, especially in the back attack spot. But um, most of the time, they can be you know no matter what you find here, it can be pushed through with a little bit of time. Uh, time and healing will get you through no matter what you find here. That's for sure. Yeah, these these spots are not uh, super imposing. Maybe super annoying if it's like alt gauntlet or or something like that, especially in the back attack spot. But uh, there's a nice gung near spear. We'll be able to sell that for some cash. As uh, we see lock saving, and uh, he's going to go up. And in the Mylon spot is. Oh, Just can I call him or can I call him? <laughs> Oh, oh, it's just a water hag. Bum, bum. That's disappointing. It, yeah, well, it's it's disappointing for us here in the commentary booth, but it's it's I would say it's also disappointing for our runners. Uh, you want to see that water hag someplace a little bit more intimidating than than on Ordeals One. 
that is that is very true it's uh it's free considering the party that they have maybe you know maybe i, I take a water hag here and go you know what don't don't punish me in the back attack spot uh but uh we do see uh edward there rocking the harp and uh water hag is down and anna is completely out of the story She played, she played her two parts here, and she will quietly exit. And some dolls uh, in the back attack spot here. Um, I don't think this should be too, too difficult. No, I, I would hope that maybe uh, Locke has a Gaia drum. Um, I did not see him pick one up. That doesn't mean he doesn't have one, of course. Uh, but I know any, any J item helps here. You do want to make sure that you kill uh, both the back row and front row dolls at the same time. And uh, Stardust will certainly help with that. Agreed 100%, and they go down, so no no Beck doll there. Uh, on the other side, Sheep uh, picking up his Luka key, and uh, we will see where he decides to go next. Yeah, I imagine Sheep, Sheep Watcher's taking the same path that, um, that Locke is here. We... He's going to want to know what key item is uh, is being is being hidden up here, and he wants that Cecil to be a little bit more powerful than than his Dark Knight version. Agreed, one hundred percent. And uh, for his troubles, hey, look at that! More king gear, and we're already up against the inventory boss. Interesting, he gave up the gunmere spear. Yeah, I mean, it's it kind of stings because we've already gotten Kane's second best weapon, and we're just we now we have Kane's. But th second, uh, third best, and fourth best weapon on the Mount Ordeals. It's like it's like a joke at this point. What do our four runners? It's a cane bonanza, and something you don't want to see. You do not want to see the guards in this spot. This is the freest of free, as uh, this spot only carries a thousand hit points. Divide that by two. That's five hundred each, and one stardust, and you're done. I fear so, some. You know, I fear some rudeness uh, coming uh, for our runners' GPS. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the the fact that we both we both got a, an item and a free boss here tells us two things: that uh, our all of our key items are in much more difficult spots, and those much more difficult spots have much ruder bosses <laughs> waiting at them. Um, I'm sure our runners uh, are getting pretty anxious at this point. Um, waiting for what's ahead i mean already the evil wall down on the fey marsh uh that, that they're they're prepared for but i mean we might we might even see like a, you know like rubicon in, in like dwarf one is really is really not pleasant because he's super fast and and i mean there's there is a ton of stuff that are that could be out there in spaces that they've already unlocked that i would not want to fight with this party agreed 100 percent. i i feel like uh, luck is going to go to uh the baron in there now that uh oh no he's uh he's decided to go into Troya. he's looking he's looking for something i'm not quite sure what but uh he is looking for something uh it could be star veils or tents or something like that um it's also you know i think we we do focus that the Troya treasury is a is a is a big source of items but the other you know the the backup uh, the backup room in Troya, which only has eight treasure chests, is also a pretty good source of loot on the, uh, the two wildish fights. That's for sure. And uh, our uh, our paladin comes with a, a fire sword. It's uh, definitely uh, better than some of the other stuff I've seen him come with. Cough, ancient sword, ancient, uh, ancient drain slumber. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of whammies out there with uh, with your paladin for sure but now that he's uh he's got some gear for his keen and uh so that's gonna help him a little bit he, uh, he's gonna roll on out there and see what's uh waiting in uh, the cafe there and it's some cure twos and an assure which uh probably won't come into play in this scene it's it's possible but but doubtful yeah i mean i yeah he's so he is leaving without doing the looting but i i wouldn't lock might be planning ahead most likely we are going to have to face that uh, wyvern at some point and so locating those uh star veils way beforehand is not a, is not a bad play uh you know just just to kind of get an idea star veils on these flags are guaranteed in the overworld so 
Um, and I guess maybe with the Asura here, he, uh, he wants to, to make sure he has some. But this is 400 HP spot. Shouldn't even need to cast a wall or anything. Nope. Just, uh, just bonk, uh, bonk Asura a couple of times there, and uh, you'll be good to go. Look at that. Even, even Edward doing his part. What a, what a champ. Grand Flyer uh, Art Tracker pointing out in chat that uh, Mute and Ninja were on Eddie and he still could not one shot the Asura, who has the mage weakness. So, oops. Oh, and our uh, Canadian content in behind is uh, our friend Ogo of the Pogo. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, Ogo Pogo being the, the moon boss, I least like to, like to see because he starts off his fight by taking off half of the ten, half of your health, and uh, and he punches hard and he counters with with a blaze attack. He's he is a rude boss no matter where you're going to see him. And uh, in, here in the second spot in Baron Inn, it's a it's a pretty punchy location to see him. Yeah, almost uh, almost taking out Lock there, but uh, he's he's able to recover. A little bit. And uh, Sheep Launcher has uh, has his, his pal in Cecil. And uh, coming down ordeals, uh, we'll see if, uh, if he'll also make the Baron in play or if uh, he might, uh, might choose another path and we get some divergence here. Sure, it looks as though uh, after a, a little bit of... Uh... Uh, scariness there uh, looks as though Locke does seem to have uh, this in hand. It's, uh, this spot has what uh, four thousand HP. Some somewhere close to that, yeah. This is this is one of those I always forget um, exactly how much HP it has. I know I know that the number one has four hundred because that's easy to, that's easy to get through. And then the back one, I just I just swing away until it goes away. Look at that! Our our tracker ground flyer is going to be excited to click on the rat tail there for lock, and uh, so now lock just needs a, a hook of some sort. So, uh, yeah. so good luck. Yeah, rat tail increasing our key item count as we get to the coveted uh, ten key item number, but uh, is is pretty much just an item that gates. A potential another item and we cannot unlock it till we get that hook so um not not exactly what i would want to find but it you know it's got future potential hey it's not a it's not a dragoon spear and it's not a gold apple so uh i'm i'm sure Locke will be happy to have that <laughs> yes for sure So uh, Lox decided, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go see uh, my favorite king here, King, king Jiat, uh, Lolly Ho to everybody, and uh, we're gonna see uh, who's uh, who's waiting uh, in behind there to see what's going on. Yeah. So we have we have now gotten a look at all three of the gated key uh, shops down here in in the underground, and we have not found sirens yet. And uh, and it's what 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 are you thinking as you as you potentially face a seed without sirens? I uh, actually in uh, in my first round match, just really quickly, we had no sirens, so I ended up uh, with that Luca key doing a trap door grind. It was uh, it was something a very very rude bomb bomb here uh, for Locke. Uh, not quite where you want to see it. Mom Bob's a little punchy, and uh, our team still needs uh, still needs some HP there. Yeah, it's also it's also not a quick fight to get through. It, in in most locations, it does get a ten thousand HP boost, so we can see it's uh, it's kind of full script play out. That's for sure, and uh, we do have Sheep Stream uh, back up and running, and he's uh, trying to get through the uh, no rope there at uh, Baron Inn. A little bit of scrambling here for Locke, uh, trying to take down Mamba, but uh, he seems to be hanging in there. Yeah, ma I mean, Mamba could be punchy in some locations it's but uh not super i think i think 
is going to be a lot scarier in a, in her split apart form here, just because it's going to be so so slow and without any any magic. Um, hopefully, hopefully Locke still has like a Gaia drum or something in his back pocket that he can throw. For sure, especially uh, once those bombs cast uh, explode, they uh, they do some damage, and you only have four party members, and you have six bombs, so. Uh, Hopefully it's not too, too bad here uh, once this initial explosion happens. Also, uh, appreciate uh, everybody's uh, understanding with uh, Sheep's uh, internet service provider. We uh, we can control many things, but we cannot control uh, those things. So uh, shout out to Gambit for uh, keeping everything straight there. And uh, we appreciate it very much here in the booth. Yep, uh, but cheap, cheap launcher got through that Ogopogo, is rewarded with his rat tail and his second Cecil. Uh, Locke uh, is facing off against these six, six bombs, uh, but the dreaded six bombs, so you will just have to do enough damage to push through them. The the question for you, Nitz, I have is that, like, I, I always kind of debate whether I want to try to kill Mom Bomb in locations like this or just wait for her to explode and i never I, I i go back and forth and i never come to a conclusion of which one is faster um i truly think it depends on the spot that you're in the party composition that you have if you can shoot through enough damage um to get through it then uh, i would say uh do that first uh if you don't have enough uh do do what Locke did with uh your edward and hide him so at least uh he doesn't get one shot here as we have uh, Old Man Sid joining the team. And it looks like a, a dragon sword called uh, Palais Dim. So not, uh, right. not not too terrible here at this spot. That's right. He is both pale and dim. He, is, he has simultaneously at the, at the same moment. Absolutely. So far, uh, roughly about 30 minutes in here. Uh, seems so far like a pretty linear seed, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, this check, I think, is is not going to be uh, a fun item and is going to provide some sort of uh, adventure for our runners here. So, uh, yeah, uh, as Gambit has said in chat, is it just me? Or are we running out of Lunar Sparkles? Uh, I think we are. I mean, you're Unfortunately, in this seed, you're you're looking for Wyvern, but uh, he's one of the few ones who has not showed up yet. Yeah, but uh, just uh, let me just go over here. We've got uh, Plague left, uh, D Lunars, and uh, Bahamut. Oh, and Wyvern, of course. Have we seen D Lunars? We have not seen Dean Lunars, we have seen Ogopogo, we have seen Pale Dim. I want to see we saw one more, but, or maybe I'm missing one. That's quite possible. We're, we're all only here. Where was, where were the Dean Lunars? I don't remember seeing Dean Lunars. I don't either. I would have made a, a joke about frogs. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah, pale, pale dim is pale dim is one of those translations that always bothers me because uh, his 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 name is White Dragon and he's I don't understand why it got translated to pale dim but like there's there's enough characters there to do W H Dragon or, you know I, I don't get that one I guess uh, they just wanted to be different there and we have a, a package perhaps. Our best boy Kane is is hiding behind that package. We'll we'll see what Locke decides to do. And another yeah. button for sorry. Go ahead. Uh, GPS. Well, yeah. So like the package is not a cutscene we want to sit through, but with um, with a successful already taking up one of our duplicate spots, um, the chances of seeing two canes is is pretty slim. So we want to look at that pack. If we see a cane in that package spot, we're going to sit through that that miserable cutscene to get to get to him. Ah, so Locke uh, going back and uh, checking the uh, the waterfall boss, and it looks as though it's either either Ruby or Elements. Uh, either way, probably something you want to see there. 
And in this case, uh, we are going to see lock find. There's the D learners. So uh, it's uh, it's just down to uh, a couple of other spots. D learners being out of our boss pool is welcome news to me. I one of the most miserable fights. Uh, in certain locations there. Hey, we have a ninja package. Uh, I, with with having that Hanzo steel, uh, would you sit through this cutscene to get him, uh, Mitzi? Uh, GPS, uh, I would, considering my current party composition. I mean, I have two Cecils, but I've got that open spot there. I've got a white mage. I've got a bard. Uh, I want someone. I have that Mazamir still. I, I want to do some damage, basically. Uh, Beowulf, uh, nice enough to remind me in chat if it was Elements, the other fiends would have been there. Uh, he is 100% correct. I apologize for the error. So uh, it is Ruby at that spot. So that's always a good thing. Ooh, and yeah, Sheep not getting through that mom bomb fight and looking looking like he is going to uh, he's going to shift focus and try a different location, but he doesn't look like he's sure where to go. It's it's tough. I've I've been in these situations, GPS, and you're just you you fly up the uh, the Enterprise there, and you just kind of sit there for a few seconds and go, okay, now what? And uh, so he's gonna try his luck here with uh, Luke and Gabe. I don't know if he's gonna try and grind on some trapdoors to get some experience for his team, or if he's just gonna go straight down and see uh, what the item is. This might just be a, a quick item check, although he is uh, checking a couple of chests here. Uh, looks as though he is going to try and uh, take down those trapdoors and uh, get some levels for his team. Uh, a level one Cecil, a uh, Paladin Cecil, is, is not the most ideal character, that's for sure. Yeah, these levels are a little low to be doing a trapdoor grind here for me. So, uh, bold move, and I like it. I like it a lot. Sometimes uh, fortune favors the bold, as uh, we see Mylon and friends uh, holding down uh, an edge. It's very interesting, and this should be done rather quickly. Yeah, certainly, certainly. I hate seeing a boss that has multiple, multiple uh, components to it here because one swing for nearly any character gets through this real fast. That's for sure. Uh, Aborius uh, finishes him off, and now you've got uh, the real Edward, as some people say, uh, joining your team. So uh, definitely, things are are looking up for Locke, uh, while uh, Sheep here continues to battle this trapdoor. We'll see if it, uh, if it uh, changes into a monster here, but uh, he's, he's holding his own so far. The, the one thing to remember here, so it's, it, you know, Locke and Sheep Launcher both uh, have, uh, have great swords for Edge. I, I actually got into a really a really bad situation where I saw saw the ninja switched a really good anchor for him, and he didn't have. He, he started off with just a claw because of because of the uh, the, the, the random starting item flag. Uh, definitely, it's something. It's it's new in in four point two, and something to keep in the back of, of your mind when you're running these flags that uh, Fu and Edge are not going to start off with the utility that you're used to. Uh, you need to make sure to have items for them if you want them to do damage right away. Yes, agreed. Uh, I had forgotten about that in my first race, and when I had picked up Edge and he had a nice claw, I kind of uh, scrunched my face a little bit and went, okay, ice claw. That's, uh, you suck, Edge. I hope the next boss is Rubicante. Otherwise, it's going to be bad. Spoilers, uh, it was not Rubicante, so uh, it, it, it didn't go too well. Also, yes, uh, we're, we're trying to challenge the uh, the previous race here on Free Enterprise uh, to see how, how long we can go before we click an objective. I'm, uh, I'm hoping it's less than an hour. But, you know, it's it seems incredible to me that we have, you know, have a seed where the magma key is handed to us and yet nearly 40 minutes in, no objectives have been found. Um, 
Welcome to Randomizers, everyone. That's so true. It looks as though uh, Sheep has decided, you know what? Uh, trying to take out these doors is a mistake. Uh, maybe he will go back. He's going to go tra back and try that mom bomb, it looks like, again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, you know, this guy, this, this makes me really nervous because he, you know, he's looking for decent, like decent, well, okay, he's found a decent cess weapon. So maybe, maybe I'm the person who's foolish uh, to be cautious here. Uh, Crystal Sword Cecil online, uh, he go burr. I think, uh, I think he's going to be fine going forward. Yeah, a lock is uh, definitely rewarded for picking up those chests there. And, uh, taking those battles and uh we are going to see we're going to see the the penguinator special here the keyless tower play and uh we will see who is at the top of the tower maybe it's the elements what what i what i what i was going to say before uh i saw that that beautiful crystal sword is uh you do want to be careful uh, I want Locke to be careful taking out all these trap chests here, because if if we do get in a situation where sirens are not available, Edge can steal sirens from those searchers, and that is that might be our only source of uh, of them in this uh, in this seed. So taking them all out is dangerous, but I think there's was there five or six trap chests up here, so there should be plenty left. Yeah, I I believe there are six in uh, the tower. I, I could be wrong, but we do see another sparkle here bouncing about. Perhaps it is Wyvern. No, it's uh, our best boy, Plague, who does basically one attack. <laughs> he does count, and he doesn't do any physical damage. And so this is pretty free. It's It may not be the fastest fight in the world, although you have Crystal Sword Cecil, so, you know, just for... As, uh, as everybody says now, um, and uh, just make sure you play uh, kill one person and uh, just bring them back to life and rinse repeat. Yeah, so the, we have seen every sparkle except for the one sparkle that we wanted. Uh, <laughs> our tracker ground flyer in the chat, very upset that he was not able to push a button. Yeah, as uh, as Ground Flyer is uh, indicating in the chat, uh, Cecil Goldberg, uh, Crystal Sword Cecil, uh, I challenge anybody to tell me that he is not the greatest character on this flag set. Because uh, other than maybe Spoonward, maybe, but, uh, but Cecil's utility is just huge. He can cover, he can do all sorts of crazy stuff. We don't have vanilla agility, so he can go to town, get levels, and uh, he gets through. Yeah, and you know we're we're gonna keep that second Cecil around just because the you know one of our five objectives is to forge the Excalibur. <laughs> we got a second Crystal Sword. You know what? I'm sorry the ground fire doesn't get to to click a, a button there, but you know what? Uh, now, now taking that edge might seem like a mistake to be quite honest with you i just had i had to stand up and do a lap because i got so excited to see we have two crystal sword sessels <laughs> and no objectives completed what gambit what have you rolled for us this is this is not uh the the gambit seeds we have, we have come to know and love two crystal sword sessels with two sessels in the seed and I mean, we still have no objectives, but uh, you love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, so as I was saying, with with having the Forge the Excalibur as a as an objective, we we will give uh, Edge a very nice weapon to throw at a very rude boss potentially. Absolutely, you you'd think, man, that that Excal is going to look good on that second Cecil. Nope, sorry. You thought that there was one crystal sword. You're wrong. And uh, with uh, with two crystal swords, Locke returning to the Fey March, I'm going to challenge uh, going to challenge those bosses that we we deemed untouchable previously. But now, you know what? Everything's kind of free. Yeah, uh, as long as they don't go down, uh, it's it's pretty much uh, GG bosses uh, at this point. 
GG bosses, GG Zeromus, um, GG Seed. We just need to we need to fight four objectives and we don't have any. Uh, yeah. Where's that darkness crystal? Yeah, where is that darkness crystal? You know what? I want to see Wyvern at the Ogopogo spot, actually. Just just so they got a walk. And uh, Sheep is through uh, on uh, the Mom Bomb side there. Uh, it, it was not pretty, but uh, it worked. And uh, he is going to be rewarded with... Uh, uh, more, more fun. As KNH has uh, kindly pointed out to us, uh, it is all down to routing now. You are absolutely right. Uh, step one, let's uh, let's back row glitch those those Cecils, because you know what? Uh, you know, Edge can sit in the front. He he's a uh, He's basically a, a tank right now. Just just take damage. Let let them do the work. You don't want them to die. Sid, I feel like you're going to be uh, sleeping a lot this seed as well. Yeah, Sid. I like Sid as an anchor. I like Edward as an anchor. Um, we don't have a cursed ring, so you know, keeping both of them at low level is is going to be crucial here. Agreed, one hundred percent on that one there. Um, looks as though what's what's better than uh, a crystal sword Cecil, a berserk crystal sword Cecil. Even though Mylon Z is is putting out some damage there, uh, Porum laughs and takes uh, one damage there while uh, Edge goes down. Ninety nine, ninety nine, just casual, very casual there. Wait, wait till that second one swings. Let's see what they do. <laughs> Oh, even Edge Berserked only does a thousand. That makes me sad. Yeah, I mean that that Hanzo steel uh, is looking is looking pale in comparison to, uh, to our Cecils at this point. I'm still. I mean, when we when we get up to the point where we're we're get, getting into the Z fight, I mean, three Zerkers is gonna be is gonna be a great setup. But um, Edge is is not gonna have not gonna have much to do with two Crystal Swords swinging away. Uh, Edge may be, uh, you know, throwing throwing that crystal and uh, and doing some uh, some chemist work there. As uh, Cecil Gober and uh, Mylon Z goes down, we'll we'll see what what luck gets for his troubles here. So uh, Sheep Launcher's stream has resumed once again. He is uh, in the pale den fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Come near spirit. So rude. Um, in the pale dim fight, and uh, should not have too much trouble. Only uh, only a couple thousand HP here in the uh, in the Rubicante or uh, the Galvez spot. So um, I don't uh, I don't see him having much trouble even with a couple characters down here. It's just it's just going to take him a little bit of time. Pale dim, uh, the tamest of those moon sparkles. Also, shout out to uh, Randomania with the huge raid. Appreciate it. Uh, everybody coming over from uh, that amazing race. Uh, please, no spoilers, uh, as we have not seen. Uh, I forget who was uh, on that race, but I, I'm sure it was a, a great race overall. Yeah, uh, that would be uh, uh, Chaos Hades versus Silverfire. Uh, yeah, two, two well-established names in the community, and uh, I'm sure it was an exciting one, so... Uh, but please, no spoilers if anyone wants to catch the VOD later on. For sure. So just to, to bring everybody up to speed, here's here's the TLDR. Uh, Murr, Murr, Crystal Sword, Cecil, no objectives, 46 minutes in. You see how many key items are clicked. Uh, it is it is madness. Uh, Locke has tried to get rid of a Gungnir Spear, and he got rewarded with another Gungnir Spear. So uh, this seed is something else. Now, 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 this guy, we have one Crystal Sword Cecil, yes. But what about second Crystal Sword Cecil? Oh, it's, you know, you, you couldn't, you couldn't draw it up any better, to be quite honest with you. I mean, Evil Wall's doing some work here, making, making life difficult for Locke, that's for sure. I, I do hate that wall. However, the cover strats on that, uh, that middle Cecil is, uh, is protecting protecting second Cecil here. Um, we just got a, we have a Berserk Cecil with a Crystal Sword. We got a Covering Cecil with a Crystal Sword. We have, 
We got a, a setup here that's going to lead to victory eventually. Uh, question in chat from Prof Nessar. Magnus forged pink fixed objectives in LHL. Uh, they are the the three top ones are the fixed objectives. Uh, the bottom two are either a boss hunt or a character hunt, or in this case, uh, one of each, where you go find Wyvern and beat him up and get uh, Best Boy Keen, uh, and you have to just complete four four of those. Uh, apologies on Sheepside, he's having some uh, ISP issues from uh, what we've been told, but I'm sure Gambit is working furiously behind the scenes uh, to get that up and running, that's for sure. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, honestly, uh, Mitsuka, I, I kind of welcome the return of uh, the boss hunt and the character hunt in uh, in these flags. In the uh, in the Primus zone, we, we were only working on, on the goals, uh, the goal objectives. And um, I think I think um, I think having the boss hunt and the character hunts leads to longer seeds, but kind of more interesting plays. I would agree a hundred percent with that uh, GPS. Uh, I enjoy the boss hunts. I enjoy the character hunts. Uh, they definitely bring uh, a little more light to the seeds, a little more uh, completionism uh, to the seeds themselves. Um, also, uh, as noted in chat uh, by Beowulf, we have seen all of the, the lunar bosses. Uh, well, minus Bahamut, um, who's at, you know, the value cave, I guess you could call him a moon boss. Uh, but we haven't seen uh, him or Wyvern. And look at that. <laughs> Technically What's... another cane weapon, I guess. But nope. we could still sort Cecil go burn <laughs> harder now. Look at that. You don't even need don't even need your your can of burst now you have been given that uh because there is a uh, uh a fortunate or unfortunate glitch depending on how you look at it uh, the way that the avenger weapon works is um, when you equip it in battle um, it basically takes your berserk stat but leaves the original stats of the original weapon that you've uh you've been holding on to so basically you have auto berserk crystal sword cecil in the back row who can do uh, a lot of fun stuff. Okay, the sheep launcher getting through that pale dim uh, and launching uh, launching his package here in the Mist Village and uh, and looks like not resetting out, so also going to be taking this edge and uh, I think probably following a very similar path that Locke is, is taking as well. Absolutely. Now, uh, I was just thinking about this GPS. What about everybody's favorite play, Tower of Zot? Could Demas be hanging out there? Demas could be up there. Wyvern could be up there. I mean, there's two characters up there. Uh, you know, in that's another one. Or in Themis, like Tower of Zot, I was pretty allergic to. But in in these flags, if you're looking for one character and you're looking for one boss, and, and you're looking for key items, that's there's five checks up. So the length of the length of Tower of Zot make that uh, completely completely worth it. Agree, hundred percent. It was just something I was thinking about uh, while we're sitting here with with no objectives, and uh, maybe D Mist is uh, is hiding all the goods to to open up all the keys to all the doors. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, yes, yes. The cheeky D Mist. Yes. Yeah. So so. Yeah, so that uh, the first boss in Tower of Zod is accessible without the Earth Crystal, and that has the potential to be a Mist Dragon, which gates a key item. Uh, so if that is the case, uh, that is not a play that nearly anyone will do unless they are completely out of checks. Well, and uh, we do see a Baron Key on Lock's side, so he is going to have to walk that out as uh, we finally get a potential key item. And a super free boss for all of our work here. The Kaipo guards are just hanging out, protecting the Baron Key. Uh, we're just going to stop them really quickly here, and uh, we're going to see Crystal Sword Cecil and his best friend Crystal Sword Cecil go to town. But Porm says, wait, don't forget about me. I'm going to do a little bit of damage here. Yeah, Porm's, Porm's still, still having some utility, even with two Crystal Swords here. I mean, a Heron Robe and a Power Staff, they can get you pretty far. Then you realize Crystal Sword go burr. So, well, and Sid says, "Me, me too. Me do damage." 
and uh, Edge Edge also not to be uh, left out there. This is uh, this must be a, a fun game for them on the ground there. Maybe they're playing uh, DPS uh, warriors, perhaps of some sort. Uh, yeah, Locke taking out the officer, doing a life glitch on the officer, which has the most XP of the four uh, of the four uh, bosses here. And uh, with the officer down, the soldiers are going to uh, going to go crazy and, and just take themselves out. If they even have the chance to. That's that's for sure. The uh, the hourglass, eh, it wears off, but usually not that fast. And uh, Locke does get through there and does have that Baron key. Uh, he will be able to use... Uh, did uh, one of his Cecil's get exit? Speaking of exits, uh, the Kaipo shop does uh, seem to have an exit in there. Uh, yeah, this is this is an especially rude uh, Luca cave because there's no Black Mage uh, in this party with Warp. Oh yes, that's right. I'd forgot. Wrong cave. I was thinking he could. Uh, I was thinking Cave Magnus, where he could just exit out. But uh, he's got to walk it out. Take uh, take the long way home. That's right, Ben Wolf. I apologize. I was mixing up uh, Cave Magnus and Silk Cave. Oh, launcher peeking the Kaipo bed, uh, finding our preferred white mage there. Uh, if if we do get the Sand Ruby early enough, we may consider swap. But uh, unlike in previous unlike in previous seeds, we don't have uh, we don't have the option to uh, to do a, any kind of slingshot. Uh, that feature is turned off here at the Lolly Ho League, so uh, they will have to they will have to do their standard HP growth without any kind of benefit to being lower than five five uh, levels uh, below the average. And thank you to uh, Apex Corvid for that that huge raid. Uh, welcome in uh, to everyone. I'm uh, Nitz Guy One. Uh, in the booth with me is uh, Gundam Pilot Spaz. Uh, clicking the buttons or not clicking the buttons is is ground flyer and uh, making sure all the pictures and all the sounds work is uh, our best buddy uh, Gambit who rolled this beautiful seed where we are 55 minutes in for all intents and purposes and no objectives completed so uh, definitely no no jet seed this time did did Gambit forget to put objectives in this seed? that's that's the burning question, I think, chat. Uh, what What do you think? Do you think uh, Do you think Amber just said, you know what, we're just going to play the seed forever, go go marathon seed? It is It is perfectly possible that all of our required key items, all of our required bosses, all of our required characters are up on the moon, and we're just going to get into some kind of weird endless chain here on the Earth. Uh, and our, our darkness crystal is going to be far away from now. As pointed out in, in chat, secret objective, the, the first runner who realizes the objectives are missing wins. I, I like that very much, Balthazar. The only, the only way to win is to quit. That's, that, that is the true victor. Well played. Uh, also, Scala weighing in. Uh, Gambit somehow rolled a version 3 seed. That's definitely quite possible. I'm kidding, of course. Uh, there there has to be something behind this Baron key. Something. I I hope there is. I hope there is. Uh, but, you know, we, we, it doesn't necessarily mean that we do have our moon access right away. Could be, we could still get a get an earth crystal we could get um get the hook and we have to turn in the rat tail you know there could still be a chain waiting for us uh, before we get our moon access absolutely uh this dark elf is going to be absolutely no match for our uh twin powers uh fiesel and peaceful uh as uh 9999 is is a, a beautiful number to see oh, oh and, uh, no go oh. ahead Sorry, I was just going to say, uh, another uh, Hanzo sword uh, for Edge. Uh, not to be outdone by uh, Cecil there. He's he's going in with uh, his best swords now, so that's sure. Uh, so Sheep Launcher is, uh, you know, anticipating the, the potential 
that uh, that sirens will not be available for purchase on the seed, and uh, and is using Edge's sneak ability to steal them from the from the searcher or the, the alert, the little little eyeball guy. Um, the the best way to do this is to take take the rest of your party down and just to get Edge as many turns as possible. But of course, that comes with some some risks. But uh, Sheep launcher ready to uh, ready to do at least like an early grind to get through uh, probably get through those fame arch bosses, but he definitely should climb this tower once he's done stealing these sirens. He definitely should, and there he is, our best boy came, and look at that! After fifty eight minutes, Brownflyer, you you have some work to do. Brownflyer, do you remember how to click an objective? Do we have to retrain you? No, nope, he did it. Yay! And yeah, that King Asso, uh sitting on the throne there, being the fake king, he, he never had a chance. Did never, he didn't even do anything there, I don't think. Yeah, that's a, that's a Vanilla Kenatsu. Um Vanilla Kenatsu versus Crystal Sword Cecil is, is just kind of a joke. It's, it's almost not even fair. Almost. What what is fair against Crystal Sword Cecil? Zeromus, maybe? Oh look at that. And all of our work for an Artemis arrow. I mean we got there's there's our ancient sword. You predicted that one too. There we did get it uh we did get our character. We have an objective, but we we also have our own spot to go through. Um which is could be a potential location for a darkness crystal. So not not completely lost yet. Nope, definitely not. Uh, Groundflyer, I believe, correctly pointing out that Odin or potentially, again, uh, Cheeky D Mist sitting at the Mega Sisters spot. I really hope it's a Cheeky D Mist at this point. I do as well. That would that would just be the icing on the cake there, uh, Gambit, if if you were to do that. Locke's still feeling uh, the need to, to pick up some uh, some loot here. I, I'm not against it. Don't don't get me wrong. Especially you know crystal armor. Who who doesn't love crystal armor? You know, it's, you know Gambit Gambit is one of the nicest people in the free enterprise community. He's you know a plus community member. Will do anything for anyone. Um, and he's given chat this wonderful seed with hopefully a cheeky diva so let's keep just make sure to thank him in chat <laughs> what he has done for us tonight and if you haven't already uh make sure you give him a follow also give uh our tracker who's really been been working extremely hard even though it looks as though he hasn't been um give ground Flyer, uh, a follow and also give uh, gps gundam pilot spaz my co-commentator a follow uh as well as uh he does amazing work uh, same for same for for Nitsky one you know he's not just a free enterprise player he runs a whole bunch of uh, interesting interesting RPGs and uh, is always a joy to watch. Well, thank you. You are the same. And uh, so we do have the moon boss uh, complete in that no wyvern, no wyvern, no demist. Let's uh, let's hope it's some kind of uh, progression. I'm I'm hoping for uh, a gold apple here. I I want that cheeky D mist. In fact, I demand the cheeky D mist now. Yeah. Um. So lock through the through the Bahama. That uh, you know, dual crystal sword. Not uh, not really challenging. Uh, oh, progression. Interesting. I this still we still might get our cheeky demist, but uh this opens up two essentially free checks with this with the pan. Could you could you imagine Wyvern in the giant though? <laughs> that would be beautiful. Uh, that only works if both both our character and our and our boss are in the in the giant, unfortunately, because only four objectives are required. Pan could be a bust. There, you are right, Gambit. There is, there is still hope as uh, Sheep is taking on the uh, the five warrior chests in the Fame Arch. It is the only chest there. 
uh, these guys give uh, quite a, a bit of experience to our, our runners. And uh, well, uh, well, uh, sheep has not found the uh, the magic that is Crystal Sword Cecil yet. Um, he's he's still rocking pretty good there. Yeah, that's a, a note to you know casual maybe viewers of Free Enterprise who don't uh, who aren't running in the tournament. Um, you note that we see the giant a whole lot less on on this tournament than we did in in the three Masona previous tournaments. That's because in our four point uh, four point two flags we have a new fl uh, new option which uh, prevents you from leaving the, the giant of Babel after you enter it. You have to you have to kill the two bosses at the end. So grinding in the giant, uh, entering the giant, all of those are. Uh, are less viable options than they were previously. And it looks as though the seed is finally giving up its secrets with uh, the Sylph uh, happily uh, giving our party for Locke uh, a twin harp. So we will we will definitely hear some music as uh, I'm sure if Locke can avoid Wyvern at all costs, uh, he would, uh, I know for certain, I would. Yeah, still, still a big question mark where that darkness crystal is. Uh, Locke is going to check uh, the second, the second available key item check with the pan before going and running to do that objective. So uh, hopefully he'll be rewarded with that darkness crystal, and the whole seat will be open to him. And a pink tail, <laughs> my word! But he still needs to find that hook. Yeah, pink tail with no hook is. Uh, it feels. It feels like progression, but it's uh, it's a semi whammy. We still we still have a lot a lot of checks to go through before we we can light up objective number three. That is for sure. Uh, definitely, as Ground Flyer has uh, said in chat, Moon is hard required. So um, I am just very curious here to see what. Uh, what lock is going to find uh, at the twin harp spot? Is it going to be a bust? Is it going to be uh, something good? Uh, only time will tell. Well, let's guy. I, it's always something good. Thanks, thanks to our wonderful developers and especially Calamity, who has taken over as our our main uh, main composer here in Free Enterprise. Uh, we are always treated to something wonderful in the uh, in the twin harp song. This is a randomizer after all. So we can't have that boring Edward Harp song every seat. So uh, we we like to mix it up and bring and bring everyone a nice uh, a nice custom piece of music, most likely from a famous famous uh, SNES video game, but from pretty much kind of the whole spectrum of games and media that, that you would recognize. For sure, I believe uh, there are potentially two hundred and forty-two songs I had heard. Um, in the randomizer, so it could be any one from uh, I've heard Super Mario, I've heard Zelda, I've heard all of the RPGs. Uh, I've heard Game of Thrones. This it it could be anything. So uh, we will see what happens here. Uh, you do see our our good friend Dark Elf, uh, who always is is just hanging out here, but uh, Locke has quickly been able to kill his party and. Uh, well, 243, thank you for Scala, but uh, I will be quiet and we will hear DJ Spoonie B come out of his bed and uh, see what's what. Uh, 
that? I had no idea what song that was. Uh, super good. I guess the only guess was Xeno Gears. Um, but yeah, not not sure. And there's there's the moon, folks. And it was uh, it was from Xeno Gears. I didn't see the uh, the name of the song. But... Like the Maytag repairman, we have to wake up Ground Flyer to click a button there. Oh no, he was on it. He was just he was just grooving to the music. Fair enough. And now uh, we do see the seed sort of bust wide open. Um, oh, it was uh, Xenoblade, not Xeno Gears. Uh, as someone who has never played either one of those, I apologize for uh, mixing those up. It was a Xeno. That's that's for sure. Uh, my favorite part of whenever you get the uh, whale is the white mage uh, sort of. Uh, morphing through or uh, kind of going through osmosis through that black mage uh, to let you know that we're going to raise uh, a big whale out of the ocean here. Oh, and, and we just, we want to shout out uh, credit where credit's due uh, that that song was arranged by a community member, Xenocat, who I believe has done the arrangements for eight uh, eight songs related to the, the Xenoblade, Xenogears series. Uh, that are in the in the harp pool. Well, thank you, uh, Calamity and Scala. Uh, they they are a great sequencer. It's, uh, it sounds like a great song. Um, maybe one day I'll get around to playing that game. I certainly own them multiple times, but uh, I've not beaten them. It's a sh point of shame. For sure. Unfortunately, uh, getting Sheep Stream back online here, he has decided not to take the trip up the tower, which uh, makes us a little sad at this point. But looks as though he's uh, he's got some sirens. He's going to crack some eggs here and uh, get some levels for his team. Yeah, I want to remind chat and especially the, the hundred so people who came in uh, after the Crystal Swords were obtained. Uh, the both crystal swords were gotten at uh, inside the, the lower the tower of lower the bell, one from the boss and one from a trap chest. So, uh, sheep launcher uh, not doing that check is is going to put him at a slight disadvantage here. That's for sure. Fire sword is is nothing to to slouch at, but uh, crystal sword uh, overall, and uh, I don't think you'd have anybody say any anything otherwise. Yes, please, Crystal Sword naysayers, enter chat and argue with us if if you're out there. Absolutely, we're going to see a check. It looks like uh, Ogo's best friend, Leviathan, and uh, again, uh, I have not one but two Crystal Sword Cecils. This should not be a huge problem. No, Leviathan, we've already seen the, the tougher noodle. Uh, Leviathan, especially here in the, the Bahamut spot, uh, should not be too much of a too much of a hassle. Question in chat is uh, Asuka here. If she was here, she would be extremely sad because basically Edward got replaced by Edge for both of our runners. And uh, and Jeebus, uh, who will sell nearly any item, any tier seven item that you hand to him. Uh, stating that a crystal sword can be exchanged for goods and services. <laughs> this is very true. Uh, I, I don't want to spoil anything, Asuka. We have uh, two crystal sword cecils, a cane, and an edge, and uh, everybody's favorite white mage pour. Fight me on that. Well, Sheep Launcher, you know, doing some, uh, doing some hourglass uh, egg grinding which is uh, certainly a viable play when your when your characters are not putting out a ton of uh, ton of damage to these eggs. Uh, definitely, I have been in that situation uh, before, where uh, at the beginning we just need to stop those eggs uh, just so that we can put out enough damage so we don't die, so that we can rinse and repeat. Uh, 
Asuka's saying sell the crystal swords. I don't know about that. Uh, receiving a sand ruby uh, lock is sad about that because uh, I believe he did peek the uh, the kaipo bed there, and it's uh, it's Rosa, I believe, who's uh, who's sleeping. It is Rosa. Rosa is the preferred white mage, but uh, with with our party, you know, in in mid mid to and leaning towards end game levels, we really don't want to take a new character at this point. Listen, Quorum uh, is the best white mage because she learns exit, and Rosa has to go through a cutscene to learn exit. So that's that's the make or break for me. Right, but but Nitska, we have two saucers. We have lots of exits. You bring up a valid point. And yes, Ground Flyer uh, pointing out now that uh, there are 10 key items for lock, um, so he will be getting double experience. And it looks as though uh, Sid's just hanging out on the moon. Uh, he's uh, a duplicate already, and uh, he is quickly uh, thrown to the side of the road there. Thanks for coming out, Sid. Uh, we don't need you. Again, I don't hate a Sid anchor, but um, I think Locke is, Locke is perfectly comfortable with the party that he has so far. Yeah, I uh, I don't anticipate any changes for Locke. He's uh, he's gonna rock this team uh, to the end, barring some sort of catastrophic. Like maybe if a Fu shows up, maybe you you take him over for him, maybe. But other than that, I uh, I don't see any changes coming. Yeah, getting, I mean, getting a little nervous on Sheep Launcher's side. I think Sheep Launcher making sure that uh, he's going to have the levels to push through the Fame Arch bosses with the equipment that he has. Um, but the, the fact that he's spending so much time on this grind is, uh, you know, it's, it's putting him farther and further behind in terms of just raw checks. Uh, agreed. Especially uh, that Sid being alive and not finding. A, uh, a curse ring at this point uh, is also a little concerning for the Z fight, um, but uh, hopefully uh, we see Sheep uh, going up the tower. So hopefully uh, he's going to find that. It looks as though a uh, lock is probably going to go for the uh, the low hanging fruit here, the the D lunar spot as we like to call it, and get the uh, the two item check there. Lots of rude bosses left, and it is. Oh, oh boy! Speaking of rude bosses, you know this is this is a spot where Ant Lion doesn't care. I mean, he'll he'll get hit. Don't don't get me wrong, but uh, he will do some damage. Yeah, I mean, clearly already taking down uh, Kane, uh, doing some serious damage to one of our one of our crystal sword sessions. Um, yeah, once that lion starts starts uh, starts swinging here, uh, Locke is gonna is gonna be in a bad situation. Uh, the only hope is in is him just getting getting enough crystal sword swings in between those punches to uh, to get through this. And we do see. Uh on Sheep's side, making the the uh, Keyless Tower play, and he was able to get that uh, uh, Star Veil off in time. Uh, so he's going to be good to go as uh, Plague gets a little confused and says, wait, uh, I need to hit count on all the party here, and so I can't. So I'm stuck in this endless loop here, and it's just going to be a matter of uh, doing some damage at this point. Really, a beautiful, a beautiful way to deal with plague. Uh, I love it. Agreed, hundred percent. It's it slows things down a little bit each time he does the count, but um, from a, a safety standpoint, uh, plagues plagues going to go down. It's just a matter of when. And beefy antlion here, uh, still. Still trying his darkness there to, to pull the party down, but form with these cure, cure threes of the clutch there uh, coming out to uh, save our team. Yeah, I mean, at this point, uh, Locke's, Locke's had three or uh, four of his characters up for the majority of this fight. 
Uh, I, he's gonna get through it. It's just it's just a matter of how long it's gonna take. Yeah, and I think he's gonna go with the uh, the cane anchoring strat. It looks like here, not something you see every day, but uh, I, I'm not against it. No, I mean if any. Oh, actually, well, Kane just got back up. Oh, he did. So I uh, just pretend I just said nothing. <laughs> but uh, you know, any character can be a decent anchor as long as uh, as long as his agility is low enough. And at level ten, Kane's agility is uh, is low enough compared to most of the agility of the rest of the characters. But uh, Locke choosing to to get Kane into those levels. So um, we'll see what his uh, what his agility strategy is going forward. And sometimes when you have power overwhelming, it just doesn't really matter. But look at that, a coffin and a spoon and an inventory boss for all the people out there. Uh, this is this is a win, win, win. I like that Locke kept, uh, kept the charm harp in uh, honor of Edward there, appreciate it. Um, for those who, who have just uh, rolled in, uh, Sheep Launcher is unfortunately having some uh, ISP issues that aren't avoidable, but uh, Gambit is, again, furiously pushing buttons, doing everything he needs to do, pulling all the levers to, to get his stream back up and running as soon as possible. Yeah, so I don't I don't see... Uh, I see very little stopping Locke here from doing a complete full clear of the moon. Uh, and the benefit here is that uh, Demist will not be in our cheeky uh, Mage's sister spot. Boo, boo, re-roll. Oh, well, I guess you can't get everything, but uh, Sheep getting his, his first crystal sword, so he will be very, very happy about that. Yeah, I mean, un unlikely Sheep Launcher takes the time to do those extra um, extra trap chests here. I, I have I have seen both opinions, whether how many trap chests you do on these flags and if you, you know, if you do any uh, I tend to prefer to save the time and and hope that I get level uh, tier 7 gear otherwise I don't know where you fall on that Mithra. are you doing trap chests on these flags? Uh, I am doing trap chests because I have seen uh, crystal swords in trap chests more often than not um, regardless of the area so uh, I'm in the uh do a few trap chests just to see. Sometimes it's a bus. Sometimes I get just a rune axe. Um, it's not guaranteed to be a tier seven uh, item in the chest. Um, sometimes I've gotten apples, but uh, more often than not, uh, I'm getting good loot out of them. So I, I, I am, uh, I am going through with them. That's for sure. Yeah, and completely fair because in, in this situation here, Locke is is getting the benefit of that uh, that crystal sword from that trap chest. Yeah, Beowulf uh, in indicating in chat, uh, I think we're going to see probably a quad zerg just jam up the queue against Z and uh, just have Porm, Porm probably on uh, on support there to uh, throw out the cures. It is unfortunate that uh, Porm doesn't learn uh, Cure 4 for some time in comparison to Rosa. Um, so uh, we will see if uh, Porm does get enough levels to get that Cure 4 because it, it has a zero cast time. Which is always good in the Z fight, especially if uh, you're not going in with an anchor. But Alok does have his shortcut now uh, to Z. Um, he doesn't have to make the uh, the fun walk. Roundfire shouting Quint, perhaps. Uh, Porm could uh, throw on that heroine robe and uh, rock that power staff and, and do some work. Yeah, I mean, pass... I mean, pass kind of feels like a whammy when you're you're already on the moon, but uh, considering that the uh, you know we only have two objectives and two of our objectives require a return to the earth, uh, that pass is going to be is going to be valuable. It's going to at least a three and a half time, a three and a half minute time save uh, for for lock there. Interesting. So uh, I don't know your thoughts on on this play GPS. Uh, Locks decided to take the uh the ogo spot here and uh get your ha ha ha's out in chat for for that um do you exit out and go and check uh demis or do you do you take uh this gold as spot yeah they mean the you can always you know save 
exit out, return to Earth, check the G-Mist, um, and see what's there, and then return to the moon if it, if it is a whammy. However, um, considering that you're already on the moon, that they're, that you're at least, you know, you're, you may be three key items away from go mode if you don't find that wyvern. That's certainly potential. You know, that one key item check might not be as valuable as just sticking it out on the moon and pushing through these bosses. So benefits to both, um, but uh, the, the extra time, if, if there was something valuable at Demas, the extra time of flying back and forth to the moon is being saved by, by waiting a little bit. Um, that's, that's very true. The only reason why I was saying is perhaps, um, there's hook there and, uh, you know, you do have that rat tail. The rat tail could be hiding part of, uh, what you need, um, for, um, the, uh, the forge in yep. regards to that. Like just yeah. because this, this gold beds is obviously not wyvern which I wanted it to be, but... Uh... Yeah, I, and even, and I, mean, I mean, I may have also, if I face-checked the Ogo spot and saw Galbez, I may have turned around and checked the, the Crystal Sword altar before taking on this boss, because I do, I do hate this, I do hate this boss fight very much. Um, there's, there is certainly a lot of options available to lock here, um, but if the, the tricky part is that he has to, you know, he's either three key items or or that boss fight left i think if he was one key item away from uh either of those two objectives it would be a very very different story that's very true but uh you know crystal cecil go burr golbez says why and uh he gained some more levels so uh so good for luck and there is a rock there is a rock, so this the play did play out for for Locke, despite despite how much I hate that boss. Uh, he was he was getting one of our required items tonight. That's very true, and it looks as though uh, Sheep has uh, hourglasses enemies here and is just taking down the officer, uh, and will be uh, rewarded. I'm not sure. I'm sure he's equipped uh, one of his. Uh, Cecil's with uh, that crystal sword there to take him down pretty quick. Uh, very true. Oh, yes. Uh, Possumorpheus uh, pointing out that uh, Adamant's been uh, checked on sheep and it should be checked on lock. Yeah, we'll let Ground Flyer just correct that. Um, but uh, Sheep Launcher running into the same problem that Locke had earlier. No Black Mages in his party. So he has taken the long way out, um, <laughs> walking out this <laughs> potentially required uh, Baron Key. Um, if I remember, so it was a, it was a YMA. Well, there, there is a required cane. It is a required Baron Key. I believe the, was Darkness at uh, the Odin Throne? Darkness was at the Odin throne. Yeah, so double double required at this point. Baron Key um, is a miserable walk, though. It is. It's the uh, the walk of unhappiness. That is for sure. Oh, it was uh, it was Twin Harp at uh, Odin spot, I believe. Twin Harp at Odin, Darkness at Twin Harp. Still plenty, plenty of chain to go through before Sheep Launcher can catch up to Locke here. No, oh, well, all right, we're just keep getting this chain wrong. There's a chain. That's that's what we know. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. It is it is a long chain. Um, look at that. Locke for his troubles gets a shiny Runax. Asuka, what do you say? Sell that Runax. Oh, maybe we do have a gone. Sid. We do have a Sid. I mean, that Runax looks good on that Sid. Oh, no, I'm sorry that uh, Locke did ditch the Sid for the cane. 
So not even a Sid to, 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 to brandish that beautiful axe. Perfect Porm, uh, as being pointed out in chat, thank you so much. Uh, the Porm did get care for, so her utility goes up uh, tenfold, in, in my opinion. And looks as though uh, Locke is going to go and make this last check here, which should be um, either Tower Key or Earth Crystal or Hook or Legend Sword. Yeah, um, Locke certainly way ahead on the key item checks, but uh, Sheep Launcher will very, very soon be tied with him on objectives. Uh, objective 5 is, is only a few steps away, and Objective 1 is, uh, is only a few key item checks away for him. So, uh, you know, depending on the order in which Sheep Launcher decides to continue to play the seed, um, this could still be a very close race. Absolutely. And it looks as though uh, the DKC comes back for one last blast here. And uh, we're going to see that justice is not the only true right in this world very shortly. Really, really just a, a, a lovely, a lovely statement that I continue to be baffled about at every playthrough. Someday you will see GPS. Someday. But when, it's got I need more specifics. When, uh, when we get playable Golbez. <laughs> and there. Locke is almost in go mode. That's right. So, uh, a, a trip back to the underground is all, is all he needs right now to check off objective number two and to get a, a nice shiny Excalibur for Edge to throw at, uh, at Zeromus or any cheeky bosses which we find along the way. Uh, agreed, Pancras. Uh, I would go and peek uh, that Demist check. Hopefully Locke hasn't forgotten that uh, he did down Demist um, because he could potentially be in go mode if, uh, if Rydia's mom is just hanging out with the hook there. As we see uh, on Sheep's side, uh, running into the vanilla Kinazzo at the uh, at the uh, Baron uh, throne, and uh, he is quickly down. Um, I think Sheep uh, is ready levels wise in regards to the situation, and uh, we will yep, see. And Locke definitely checking on the Demist check, not forgetting it to rush to do the uh, forge. Oh, and rewarded with an Earth Crystal. How lucky. I mean, we could be lucky here. Uh, it would it would still be hilarious to see the Wyvern sitting at the Major Sister spot. Uh, always available if, uh, if our runners decided to go to him. Well, that's for sure. Uh, Locke is uh, quickly running down uh, a 17 to 17 here. I mean, I, I think I think we could have predicted that when we were at nearly an hour with no objectives done on either on either runner's side. Uh, it it would be chatty. It would be entirely in character to have to go seventeen to seventeen. Yeah, I mean, it's if we get if we pull tower key from the top of Zot and then uh, hook from the, the cannon room. That's uh, that's very possible and very easy to do. In fact, I think the only way to avoid that is if uh, the tower key is behind the rat tail, right? Uh, I agree, one hundred percent. That would be the only way, because uh, it definitely can't be the other way around. That's for sure. It looks as though luck is just. Uh, Powering up here and uh, healing up his characters for, uh, wow, some more vanilla in the chat, folks. Mega sisters and mega sisters, what a time to be alive. 
Yeah, so no no cheeky plays here at the uh, at the open boss spot in the Tower of Azat. A little bit disappointed, but uh, I'm sure Locke's not disappointed to find this uh, completely free boss with his levels and equipment. That's for sure. They didn't not even one Delta attack. Very disappointing, Mega Sisters. I expect it better. Oh, and it is a sparkle, which we already know to be uh, plague. I believe it was. Yeah, plague at the uh, at Dwarf Castle. While on sheep's side, uh, Bahamut uh, doing a little bit of work and uh, taking down some characters, but uh, doesn't have a lot of magic power at this spot. So uh, surprisingly. Yeah, and we're clearly seeing the difference between having one crystal sword and having two crystal swords with the ease at which uh, Locke took down Bahamut versus Sheep Launcher struggling a little bit here. Yeah, you can definitely uh, see that just sometimes the, the plays work out and it looks as though Locke says, you know what, Fu, you're a really nice person, but uh, sorry, not, not this time. And uh, for his troubles, uh, some more vanilla. Is this well, even randomized? This this is this is like a real low effort Tower of Zot here, Gambit. Gambit, much disappoint here. Uh, but now, what are we going to be rewarded with at the Tower of Zot then? Tower key. What is the vanilla Tower of Zot key? I'm trying to remember. You think playing this game uh, enough times that I would remember. Oh, Magma Key. Thank you for, That's for right. chat. Thanks. Thanks, chat. It's It's been a long day. So it cannot be a pure vanilla tower, unfortunately. No, unfortunately not. But we, we do see the hook, and uh, Locke is now officially in go mode. Not bad. Just one hour and uh, 35 minutes. We'll, we'll call it in. So that uh, means that Wyvern is in, is in the giant, I believe. Could be in the cannon room uh, or in the giant. That's very true. I forgot about that. So Locke's just going to do some running around here. It's going to see uh, a Zeus gauntlet, and uh, it's going to be, uh, a, a as I call it, a couch sales a -thon. Everything must go. Yeah, all those all those items we've been holding on just in case uh, have got to be sold for uh, for those <laughs> very very useful Zeus gauntlets that we will be equipping to our to our uh, crystal sword cells just to make them do that a little bit extra damage. Now you know, Chad, if we had Rydia, she uh, adult Rydia, I should be specific, could wear the Zeus gauntlet as well. But looks as though that's not going to happen. No, I don't think Locke is going to be hunting down a video before going into the Z phone. That, no, that would be a surprising play. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Uh, Locke is uh, quickly and happily uh, thinking that he doesn't have to find uh, Wyvern. And uh, he's just taking us on a little bit of a scenic tour there. Oh, Sheep Launcher deciding not to uh, push through Evil Wall. Uh, Evil Wall uh, does not contain it, does not hold a key item, so that is the correct play. Agreed. And uh, looks as though the Rat Tail had tower. That was very nice of them. And uh, Locke is now officially in go mode with the pass. 
And you know what? A 17, uh, 17 out of 17 in uh, an hour 37 on these flags is uh, is a pretty good run. Agreed. So good job, Chad, even before I uh, I saw it. You see all these 17 to 17s. Love to see it. Um, and now I think we are just going to go and uh, I think uh, we've got uh, oh, we don't we don't have any Z's. Uh, looks as though uh, Locke is looking over his team and uh, just trying to figure out who's going to be the anchor there. Uh, I don't think he has a ton to worry about with these levels. But uh, yeah, GPS, uh, not seeing a, a bunch of Z's. Maybe people are tired, but uh, what does that mean? Oh, um, I think... Uh... I mean, they're asking a certain question. Um, I think uh, most of them are part of the movement to get rid of uh, Z from the alphabet. They're asking whether that letter is even needed. I I tell you, maybe we go a different way. And maybe okay. um, they are trying to tell us uh, whose butt are we going to kick tonight? Oh, oh that makes a lot more sense. I just, I was just throwing it out there. It just, it just popped into my mind. Yeah, uh, it wasn't where I was going with it. You know, I definitely am in team uh, Z is not needed. <laughs> but, uh, you know, whatever. Maybe we could get to kick a butt. So, always good. Um, for anybody who might be new, uh, Zoroma's trying to move him around would just be too cruel to our runners. So he gets to stay uh, in this uh, magical end spot here. And uh, Scholar Kitty, our amazing uh, uh, artist, has uh, drawn us up to 525 sprites that Z will be uh, randomized into. And we have... Uh, Help me out here, GPS. No idea. It's uh, anime night. -ness. Perfect. It's from the Lunar City series, uh, Galeon. Oh, yes, 526. Don't forget, Scalamus. Thank you so much, uh, Tetsuka. Uh, yeah. I've never played uh, the Lunar series. Uh, I haven't probably played a game older than 1991, so. <laughs> I mean, you play Final Fantasy VI. Oh, that's true, sorry. So, 1994. Yeah. Let's, let's be accurate here, this guy. That's, that's true. So, uh, you can see the power of uh, Crystal Sword Cecil. Uh, 6,000 from one. Only 4,800 from the other one. So, you know, just 10,000 ago. Um, Z will refill uh, he refills at about 45,000 HP. And then you got to take down another 65,000. So I anticipate this being done extremely quickly. And Big Bang, I'm not even worried. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Sheep Launcher will give us a an encore of, uh, of DJ Spoonie B's rendition of... Uh, and I forgot the name of it. But the song from... Z it's from Xenoblade. It is from Xenoblade. And that will that will replace our uh, our Zeromos music.
and a, a, a quiet flashbang on Locke's side ends the Zeromas fight for him. With an official respot time of 1 hour, 41 minutes, and 59 seconds. GG to Locke, going to a 1-1. One one. Uh, definitely a, a well-played 17-17, to 17, that's for sure. And we're going to see if we can get Locke in here for uh, for an interview. And I believe we have uh, Locke joining us uh, in the booth now. Uh, GG and congratulations uh, on your win. Thank you. That was uh, a sure was a feed. <laughs> it certainly was. Uh, tell us, tell us what you thought about uh, having uh, no. No objectives uh, checked off till roughly about an hour in. <laughs> like, I knew when I got down to Fey March that they couldn't really lock anything down there, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna skip this seal, seal cave anyway. And then I did everything else. I'm like, where's my progression? What's going on here? I think I last location like everything. I just was following the chain. It was definitely something. Also, uh, pulling out those crystal sword uh, Cecils uh, definitely uh, made things go much faster for you versus she. Uh, the the first one I got from the the trap chest that was amazing. I was like, all right, I'm set. I have a crystal sword. Just gonna go to town with that. And then getting the second one from the tower, I'm like, I got two Cecils. I got two crystal swords. Everything is gonna die now. Yeah, Locke, that was, uh, that, I mean, it turned out to be a great play. We were discussing um, strategies for doing those uh, trap chests on these flags. Of course, the tier seven, tier seven items are only available as a, as a, in the key item locations or in trap chests. Are trap chests something that you have typically worked into these, uh, to these seeds? Uh, depending on the seed, yeah. Like, getting a Thunderclaw off that edge was probably the best thing I could have gotten because it allowed me to get those trap chests. Otherwise, I might not have gone for him because it would have been a bit of a pain. But um, if I have to do like a hook route, I'll do the trap chest down in the hook route or Ebon Castle. I try to work them in when I can. Uh, yeah, so it was definitely uh, Cecil Gold Burr and uh, bosses go down. Uh, it definitely uh, things were things were pretty tight and pretty close uh, up to that point. I think that was probably your ESPN turning point um, in regards to uh, how the seed went, uh, because you were able to get through Mom Bomb quickly. Um, unfortunately, uh, Sheep had some challenges there, and then uh, you got those swords, and and things just sort of opened up from there. But uh, also, thank you. Uh, on behalf of uh, all of us in the booth and everybody in chat uh, for the 17 to 17 and uh, basically an hour 42. That's uh, pretty amazing. I could not, you know, I was like, I have the rat tail. It's got to be here. I'm just going to turn it in. I'll lose the like three seconds. Just like, here you go. I had to. Very nice. Uh, we, we all appreciate that. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, once... Um, once you had those two crystal sword cessals, I think the, the, the sea was basically yours to control. Um, but the continuing to, to clear the moon after you saw that uh, you, you did get demissed, um, what was your thought there? And is is were you just committed to full clearing the moon at that point? Um, and, and is there something what, that would have made you go check that demist if uh, if you thought it might be a hard required uh, item check? Honestly, at that point, I would have kept clearing the moon because I think I got what legend sword after like the last check on the moon, and I want to say I think that was it actually. But yeah, getting, adamant, getting adamant behind Galbez at Ogopogo, and the legend sword was at the, the oh the top altar Murasame. I was confused. There. Okay, yeah, I was gonna keep clearing the moon because I wasn't anywhere near go mode at that point because I still needed either a hook. Both of those are finding wyvern, which I never found wyvern. And then after Golbez, I decided to not find wyvern because I used all my star veil. So I was like, I don't know where more are. I'm just going to get all the key items if I have to. 
Yeah, I believe we think uh, Wyvern is in the giant. Yeah, giant super cannon or uh, underground at this point through hook route. Oh yes, that's right. Um, I forgot about that. Yeah, we never, we never, neither, neither side got a peek at the character or the bosses on the hook route. Um, so yeah, Wyvern could be hanging out down there. That's for sure. Uh, any uh, any final thoughts as you move to uh, one and one lock? Uh, definitely had a, a first round match, really, really tough, a really good opponent. And uh, Sheep uh, being no slouch himself, uh, you're able to, to win against him. Uh, what what do you think going forward? Uh, I'm feeling actually pretty good because even though I lost the first match, you know, it was very close. We finished within, what, 20, 30 seconds of each other? So. Definitely still do feel good about my gameplay, so I just gotta keep it up, pretty much. Perfect. Here's the hoping I don't run into you in uh, the one-on-one -one matchups. <laughs> right. But yeah, I'm I'm excited to try to make it to the table stage again for the tournament, because that's that's my luck. I'll make it to tables, then I get knocked out there. For sure. Uh, any. Uh... Other uh, questions you have, GPS? No, not nothing for me other than to say uh, a well-run seed, uh, Crystal Sword Cecil Go Burr, and uh, thank you for uh, for an extremely entertaining run. Yeah, thank you for commenting. Thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate it. I'm always happy to be restreamed. It's a lot of fun. So I'm glad I could put on a great show. Absolutely. And uh, everybody out there, if you haven't uh, already followed both runners, uh, both uh, Lock at Lock Cold Live and Sheep Launcher, uh, definitely do so. They are both amazing people and amazing runners, and uh, they would really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm going to sell off for a minute. I'm six away from 500. Do it. Six more follows away. Oh, yeah, that's that's certainly something that the free enterprise community can help you with. Uh, congratulations! That's I mean, hey, having anywhere near 500 followers is uh, is fantastic. I'm I'm excited about it. So you know, thank you everyone. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, uh, chat chat indicating uh, lock. You're you're definitely due for a deep run. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I'm hoping for the best for you. I, I hope you make thank it. Thank you. Uh, not a problem. Uh, well past tables. Uh, you're you're a great runner. You've you've showed us how to how to blow apart a seed that looked very very uh, uh, very unpromising uh, at the beginning with a, a DKC and a and a porn start, but uh, you you made it look quite easy. Hey, that porn was great. Getting a power staff, heroin robe, and a crystal ring. She just beat up everything. She took that staff to town. Yeah, Absolutely. I think. Uh, yeah, I think I can. I can speak for Nitsuka and myself that uh, neither of us want to see you uh, being matched up against against yourselves in uh, in the one one pool. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, any any final thoughts? I'm gonna go get dinner. So thank you again. I, I'm gonna watch this back later. But thank you everyone for the restream and for everything again. I appreciate it. Oh, it's not a problem. Thank you. Uh, without you and uh, without Sheep, uh, it's just Gundam and I sitting here talking for an hour and a half about uh, free enterprise memes and uh, frogs and uh, Crystal, Crystal Cecil Goldberg. Maybe maybe Ultros once in a while. That's, That's a good talk, then. That's a good talk. Again, uh, our winner, uh, Lock Cole Live. Uh, also known as Lock, uh, going to one in one. Uh, again, make sure uh, you give everybody a follow here and uh, appreciate him giving us uh, some great content here. Uh, you'll be able to watch us back uh, on the YouTubes uh, once it is uploaded in uh, a day or so by our amazing development team, uh, Scala Kitty, uh, as well as all of the restream leads and workshop helpers and and everybody behind the scenes who's making this tournament uh, turn out as, as amazing as it does all the time. So um, as Sheep Launcher uh, 
gets uh you know continues with his moon clear uh, we we have the assignments uh posted for tomorrow uh we have uh three races left in week two of the lolly ho league uh and uh and tomorrow we have a, have a full sunday full of races so uh we'll we'll have uh Eichofer versus Possumorpheus, which is a great matchup with a great comms team of antidale and tybalt uh bursic badger versus ground flyer with a with another great comms team of rex raul and kind of nerdy housewife and uh the final uh the the, the prime time showcase on rpg limit break with baka shinobi or uh, uh, starman versus zilch starman being the uh, champion of the coming way open zilch being a a, a formidable uh, member of the free enterprise community someone who who is kind of always always feared when you're matched up against him uh so that should be a wonderful match uh commentated by baka shinobi and shmapti uh, to two of uh, two of the you know the voices that I love to hear on comms all the time. Same here, and I believe uh, Starman versus Zilch is a, a one and O matchup, um, and I believe uh, Ground Flyer and Persic is also a one and O matchup. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely some some great content uh, coming at you tomorrow here on the Free Enterprise Network, including our partners uh, at RPG Limit Break. And can't forget the amazing, amazing Game Boy F9 and the people over at Random Mania for also helping us out. Uh, we couldn't do it without all of them. Uh, I'm being corrected by Ground Fire that he's the only one. I, I, don't, I don't believe it, but, uh, but since you wrote it, <laughs> Ground, I'll, I'll say you're only one. There, there must have been a mistake. There, there have been so many great matchups so far in the Lolly Ho League, and it is only week two. Um, you know, Ground Flyer, uh, the Ground Flyer versus uh, uh, Poorly Drawn Bees match was a was a real must watch. Um, Poorly Drawn Bees being kind of a, kind of a newer runner, I think that uh, that she came in at the end of uh, at the end of Three Miss. Uh, started running seeds around that time and has done just some some fat, fantastic uh, progress. Um, you know, all all of the matchups have been have been wonderful to watch, and uh, it's uh, it's truly a fantastic community to be a part of. So, I encourage anyone who has not uh, has not done so to, to join the Discord and to uh, you know to 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 run some races there. I mean, it's it's a very friendly community. Nobody. Nobody is going to shame you if you're if you're a new runner and you know you don't quite know what you're doing. We're going to help you out and uh, and uh, you know bring you into the fold. Also, I meant to uh, shout out earlier, and I apologize. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Fandangolo, uh, for the 1,000 bits uh, to the free enterprise community. It it goes back to the stream and it goes back to making all of these amazing layouts and amazing uh, everything. Uh, keeping the lights on keeping the hamsters in the wheels all that all that great stuff that uh that makes things go great and uh thank you so much a wind uh for that amazing raid uh welcome in uh i'm mid sky one along with my uh co-commentator uh gundam pilots Fax, also known as gps and uh we're just uh we're just settling in here uh sheep is uh is going to be well on his way uh, unfortunately, I, I think the difference in the seed was honestly uh, those crystal swords. Uh, having them on both Cecil's uh, just really let lock uh, power through, and uh, and it's it's really unfortunate that that one chest seems to make a difference. But sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. Yeah. So uh, Scala saying Fandango is uh, is Scala's brother. Uh, Win A Wind is my brother, so we have a we have a we have a, a big family gathering here in the free enterprise community. So uh, welcome all, and thank you, thank you for the support. I am so sorry, Fandangle. You have a uh, an amazing sister in Scala Kitty, and uh, she brings us such a such amazing work, and uh, it's all it's all amazing. We do not we do not deserve Scala Kitty, uh, you know. Um, I think, 
looking looking at his aroma sprite, I I fear ever ever having to face up against it in a free enterprise. Scene. I do not want to get newspapered. Yeah, fear fear the newspaper. It, it it may be gone in the real world, but in free enterprise land, the the newspaper is alive and well. Oh hey, good job, good job, Nitz. You're you're now part of the you're now part of Scholar's family. So congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. I I don't have a, a brother or sister in real life, so I I appreciate that very very much. As we do see uh, sheep uh, taking down the mist here. Um, the unfortunate part about Crystal Sword Cecil is demist while not being a dragon, uh, as taught by Invenerable in the FE 101 class, um, is um, weak to uh, darkness. So as a result, in the way that uh, Final Fantasy IV is programmed, that makes Demis strong to holy. So Crystal Sword go burr, but um, not really as, as powerful as, as one might think uh, against uh, a dragon. Yeah, no, Demist, not a dragon. Um, one of the one of the wonderful kind of tweet, uh, kind of interesting programming aspects of Final Fantasy IV. Kind of like how uh, uh, Milanzi is a, is a flying monster, and for some reason, Optimum, outside of Zoromus, is uh, the fastest boss initially uh, in the entire game. Until you cut down his tentacles and he slows down at that point. Yes, just a little bit of knowledge. It's it's not in Ven level, but uh, it's uh, it's something. Um, it's like a B plus. No, always always interesting. I mean, I, I still I still find some of those little aspects of free Inter you know Final Fantasy IV free enterprise. Uh, challenging and it's uh you know this this game is is you know it, it seems kind of simple on the surface but it uh, it goes really deep in terms of like a skill cap But Skull, I want to quake Mylon Z. There should be some sort of anti-float spell. When when do we get that? In version five? I think we get it we get at the same time that we get the playable Galbez. So like uh 2099? I'll uh, I'll mark it in my calendar on my phone. Yeah, no uh, A Win pointing out that you know once you know, getting into this kind of community, uh, you know, it's it is really, it, it's kind of it's really telling like how much some players have improved uh, when new players come in who are just like kind of seeming like naturally good at this game. Um, it's it's always surprising and always fun. And you know, we talked about how like uh, a poorly drawn bees has been kind of a surprising showcase here in the Lolly Ho League. Uh, being a relatively new runner and there you know there are plenty of plenty of other runners who are new to this game who are just who are doing fantastic and plenty of runners who were new in uh, six months ago during three miss zone who who did a wonderful showing there and are continuing during the Laiho league um it really it really is an interesting community to be a part of and to kind of witness how some players improve and some players uh just kind of start off with with an amazing amount of game knowledge. Absolutely. Uh, people like uh, Pancras who've uh, come in just just over a year ago when we had something called the Fabul Gauntlet, if everybody can remember way back when, back in February. That, that feels like so long ago. Um, but just uh, all the people that, that have joined over the last year, after the last year, after the last year, and uh, just the amount of talent, uh, there's going to be somebody 
somebody's going to break out of uh, this Swiss round and it's going to be someone no one's ever thought of. Maybe it's going to be Locke. Maybe it's going to be Sheep. Maybe it's going to be somebody else in the audience. Um, and uh, we're going to see some some really great play out of some people. And uh, it's it's all going to be amazing to watch as, as everybody's skill level does uh, does improve. It just it raises the bar for everyone. Yeah, and you know it's good. It's good that you brought up the Fabul Gauntlet because I think that's when I I started playing just before the Fabul Gauntlet, and uh, the Fabul Gauntlet was was the tournament that was ongoing when uh, when the, the the global situation that we are now in uh, started up, and it certainly this community and that tournament helped me through those early days and continues to help me as we continue to struggle with things. Um, again, you know. Finding finding any distraction in these in these weird times is wonderful, but uh, uh, being part of this community has certainly uh, certainly been a, a boon to my to my mental health and to you know to uh, to, to making you know fi filling my days with something pleasant. Absolutely, and uh, as was indicated in uh, in chat by uh, by Gambit, just taking a really really quick pick peek at the standings here and you see uh some people you see uh, an aizen tayama you see you know uh ground flyer you see cubs rule you see some new faces rowdy ruddy sniper bad karma you know just going through the list here some names that that i hadn't even seen uh, a year ago um you know rumblefish leggy micro corks uh slippery uh, Dragus Cloud, a bunch of great people at 2-0 even. Uh, Lufa, newer runner, I believe. Uh, Cork, uh, Dusty Griff. You know, there are so many, so many great players at this game. Penguinators at five points, if you can believe that. So, you know, that, that just <laughs> tell, that just tells you the, the amount of talent that uh, that has showed up here uh, for the Lolly Ho League. And uh, I, I can't wait to see uh, what happens next? Uh, you thought the first uh, two weeks were were great, chat. Um, you you ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, and for sure, and certainly there there are people who like um, Martin Broadcloak comes to mind who have been playing this game for a very long time, but have never competed in any of the tournaments for for you know for whatever reason, and so so having those type of players enter enter into the the competition is both uh, both wonderful and uh, frightening for some of us who you know who are part of the community. So uh, all kinds all kinds of folks coming together to play to play this this silly 20, 30, oh my god thirty year old game uh, is uh, is just fantastic to me. Yeah, and shout shout outs to uh, to both Bold Face and Rivers McCown without. Uh, Without River's idea of uh, you know let's let's make Final Fantasy four just a little bit different it was just uh, an idea and uh, without Board's super amazing technical knowledge to actually squeeze everything into this as you said thirty year old game now basically um, and and the fact that it all runs and it all runs great and uh, everything is is perfect um, you know if if you could put this on the shelf. I'm sure, you know, people would, would definitely buy it. Yeah, I think that there was some, uh, I forget where, I forget if it was during commentary, I think it might have been in the, the free uh, Discord chat during one of the races, that, like, uh, something about Final Fantasy IV just lends itself to being open world. Everything just kind of works to works to 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 lend itself towards this 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 weird game that we've we've cobbled together from an existing one. Absolutely, it's uh, it's just it's a uh, it's amazing, and uh, I, you know, if if anybody's watching, if this is your first time here, uh, thank you so much uh, for watching. Also, without. Without you, the fans, um, again, it's just me and and GPS just, you know, talking about memes, talking about Ultros, talking about Crystal Swords, um, 
talking about throwing away ribbons for for an hour and a half. So um, definitely without without you, um, the the rest of it doesn't matter because then nobody's watching in regards to that. So uh, so thank you to to everybody everybody out there uh, in the audience. Um, we we appreciate the support immensely, and uh, definitely come back for more because. Like I had said, the, the first two weeks were amazing. Um, I, I can't imagine how, how the next four weeks are going to go. Yeah, and good, good to note that we, we have four weeks left of just the Swiss round uh, and plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, free enterprise left even beyond that. Absolutely, we're we've come a, a long way from from uh, not even version one. It's like I think it was like version zero point three or, or something like that, and that was just that was just three years ago when uh, we used to start out with really basic stuff, and you know we used to have super jet seeds. You'd, you'd kill bosses. You'd you'd find the crystal and you'd be in go mode in like eight minutes. And now it's it's so much more complex and and so much more fun in my opinion in regards to that so uh so definitely uh the best is yet to come yeah i mean the first the first time i heard about free enterprise was during the uh, the showcase at uh um uh agdq uh which was a you know, fantastic race starring rivers mccowan and, and nereen and a bunch of a bunch of a plus rpg street uh speedrunners um and they, you know, they gave us they gave us a fantastic race, but of course, you know, it, it, it introduced me to like, wait a minute, this this game that I grew up with is uh, still being played and in, in a new and interesting way. Like, how could this how could this possibly be? Uh, uh, it must it must have been fascinating. And you know, again, I haven't I only came in about a year ago, uh, but uh, it must have been fascinating to see this uh, the randomizer grow and evolve, and especially with the uh, with the objectives that were just added. Uh, added about it you know for the football gauntlet and really really opened up the competition aspect of uh, free enterprise absolutely uh everybody's come a, a really long way and uh you know it's uh it's just uh, amazing to see the uh the progression uh, over the years as to, to how things have changed how strategies have changed how we've learned about this game we used to think that 14 agility on Zeromus was great. Well, it turns out everybody was wrong. So it's uh, it's something that Free Enterprise uh, taught all of us. Hold on, 14 agility on Zeromus is not good? Uh, no, that that was uh, the the common uh, the common strat way back in the day. Uh, just because I've been a part of this community for a really long time before that, I used. I still do, uh, even though I haven't completed a run myself. I've, uh, I've watched more than enough FF4 speed runs where uh, 14 agility Cecil was the dream. And uh, we learned that uh, it's actually 28 and uh, and not 14 as we had uh, initially thought. I, yeah, I was going to make a joke about 28 agility uh, Cecil. Yeah, the agility aspects of Free Enterprise are, are truly black magic. And it's one... One meta aspect of running this game is making sure making sure that agility is uh, is is kept in check. Uh, this was especially true during Three Missum, where where Cecil, if you got a Cecil in your party, they, they were required to be the anchor. So so getting that twenty eight agility threshold was super important. That's for sure. Um, Over leveling still still works in this game, like. Like most RPGs of, of its day, if you got to level 99, your agility didn't matter. You could just run over anything. Oh, I mean, with two two crystal swords, like we saw Locke <laughs> yield, I don't think agility matters at that point. Uh, unless you can't get your, your berserks off in time. Um, and, you know, there's a possibility that Zeromos is too fast to, to pull off the berserks. But uh, otherwise... Uh, yes, then <laughs> uh, two crystal swords is going to get you through, and no matter what, what your agility is. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and in comparison to 
uh, what I learned as a kid um, going on battle speed one while it's you know you go fast um, if I had known as a kid that battle speed one was actually not the ideal um, you know this game was would have probably been a lot easier for me at the time Sheep getting through that fight there with uh, everybody's favorite Donkey Kong, Cecil, and getting that Legend Sword, uh, basically placing him uh, almost in gold. Uh, yep, so Sheep Launcher will return to the Earth. Uh, hopefully they remember to check their D-Mist, uh, which will give them the hook. And then they will be on their way, uh, on their way to their Zeroma's fight. Yeah, based on uh, based on everything that's uh, that's been covered here, uh, I believe uh, Sheep's levels are are more than adequate for this fight. Yep, so Sheep Launcher just cleaning up, cleaning up in, in the end here, is going to complete their forge. Is going to complete their forge, did check their D-Mist, so they have, uh, they have their, their hook. And, uh, and we are within only a few minutes of, uh, Sheep Launcher being in go mode. That's for sure he's going to check into the cocoa shop there, see those fancy Zeus gauntlets, get his Excalibur. At least his second Cecil will have a, a pretty decent weapon for the Z fight. She's just doing a, a little bit of uh, inventory management here, realizing that uh, the end is probably near and uh, just clearing out some spots so you can get some money so you can buy some stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, um, I would also don't, you know, so Sheep Launcher now has an Excalibur, is, is going to equip it on the second Cecil. Second, Second Cecil, not going to be quite Crystal Sword Cecil level, but uh, Excalibur does uh, does more work than nearly any other melee weapon in Final Fantasy IV. It is quite versatile. For as much uh, versatility as a Crystal Sword is, it actually can't be thrown, which seems weird, but uh, I guess that's uh, Final Fantasy IV for you. Ooh, I'm a little nervous, actually, for Sheep Launcher now, because I think that they might be trying to use the pass, but they did not turn in their pink tail. And nope, they're turning around. Okay. Well, interesting. I don't quite understand what they're doing here. Maybe uh, Sheep has forgotten about the D-Mist. No, I definitely saw them go to... 
and maybe the tracker can can let us know. They did go to Mist, right? I, I thought I saw them land at the village Mist to get the hook. Was hook? Or maybe I'm mistaken. Was hook not at Mist? Was hook at Zot? Oh, it was Earth Crystal at Demist, and then the hook at Zot. So they 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 still need. Uh, yeah, that's a mistake on my end. I thought I thought it was one check earlier. So there we have to go through our our Manila Tower to get uh, to get her hook. Thank you, Grand Player, for uh, helping us out. I forgot about that. I thought it also it was uh, was hook at Demis for some reason. Yeah, that's why we have the tracker because comms comms really is barely paying attention to the race, right? Yeah, we're really we're just here for like free enterprise memes, uh, playable Golbez, uh, playable Anna. Uh, yeah, pra when praise the back end team. Yep, yep. Praise uh, praise Gambit for again making sure that uh, everything is working okay. Shoutouts to Ground Flyer for uh, clicking buttons, and uh, again to my uh, amazing co-commentator uh, GPS. Um, it's uh, been great working with you, and uh, hopefully we get to do it again soon. Oh, it's always a pleasure in this guy. Yeah, and, and you know, everyone involved in this, uh, include, especially our runners, does deserve your follow. Uh, and uh, and, uh, and your, your, you know, your, your eyeballs. Oh, I appreciate that. I, uh, I'm trying to stream more. Life, life sometimes gets in the way. That happens, but uh, we'll, we'll see what the future holds. Yeah. So sheep launcher making quick, quick, uh, <laughs> quick mincemeat out of these major sisters, and uh, we'll we'll do the same to that Valvalis. Uh, Although I don't think uh, the cheap launcher does not have that cane, does? Or did he take the cane? Uh, he did. Cane's uh, cane sitting at the the bottom of the party, edges at the top, and Sid is the anchor. Okay. So I, I, at least I, to... oh, I think so. Maybe maybe I'm right. <laughs> this is when this is about two hours and nineteen minutes, and is when comms start to question their own memory. That's that's for sure. Yeah, I, I remember Sid's the anchor. Beyond that, uh, I, I truly can't remember. It's possible he only kept one Cecil. Yeah, let's 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 take a look. No, two Cecils, uh, no cane. Okay, that's that's what I thought. No cane. Very sad. Very sad nets. Yeah, especially yeah. since we have to go up against Movalis. But I mean, again, Crystal Sword Cecil go Burr. Excal says so logo burr. Burr, 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 burr. Yeah, even even Tornado Val can't uh, can't stop that power. Let's see if uh unfortunately I don't believe I believe Edge whiffs here. Oh no, 2500. Yeah, I think that Edge is gonna have the two ninja swords, right? Two two Hanzo steels. I believe so. He took the Eggman. How interesting! I don't. I don't hate it. I. Uh, I. I find it hard to turn down a Fusoya, even when it's a bad play. I agreed on a, a seed. I took. Uh, I took a, a Fu late, but that was just to replace Tella because uh, ain't, ain't nobody got time for for Tella. Yeah, I mean, well, Tella does make a good anchor with the benefit, with the, also the benefit of having all of those black magic spells. Yeah, but with uh, with six hundred HP, he he can't survive anything. Okay, well, I mean, he's an old man. I don't know what you want. I think Fu is thousands of years old, so okay, anybody well. Can hold hand. <laughs> All right. Well, okay, we're getting down to semantics now. Yes, Fu is thousands of years old. He's lived on the moon, which doesn't have any air, I don't think. I'm not sure how that works in Final Fantasy IV. It's not really the moon. It's a second moon, right? 
It's a second moon. It is. Uh, the, re- the red moon. R- rule number one, you, you never argue against uh, the Final Fantasy IV universe, ever. Yeah, no, it's, it's yeah, thank you. It's got a magical seal. Magic explains oh. <laughs> most of the problems with Final Fantasy IV continuity. And there we go. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that, chat. Uh, Sheep is in goal mode, does turn in and gets the Artemis. Uh, boo for not going 17 to 17. Not turning in the, the rat tail there. That's that, that, you know, uh, I don't know if that invalidates the seed, but uh, it does save frames. So maybe as a, in terms of speed running, that might be the better play. Agreed. And, but for and the, the yeah, the yeah. so lock lock wins on the memes. Sheep launcher wins on the speed runner miss of, of the seed. Yeah, and as uh, MP says in chat, magic can explain away anything. You ask uh, uh, Terra in Final Fantasy VI uh, about m- 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 magic, so uh, you know anything's possible. Yep, that's right. If you can't explain it, a wizard did it. That is the ultimate rule. Agreed. Interesting. Looking for a, a dwarf axe here for for Sid. Sid's okay. I guess you want to slow him down even more. I, I totally get it. Yeah, we want to. We want our anchor to be as slow as possible. The dwarf axe gets us at least somewhat there. Sid's base stats gets us most of the way there. Very true, A win. Uh, not not trying to diverge from Free Enterprise, but uh, Emperor Dog does have a funny hat. <laughs> I mean, we can sit here and probably talk about Final Fantasy VI characters and designs forever. I mean, the main villain is a clown. That's very true. At least the main villain of Final Fantasy IV is like a scary guy in, in armor. Yeah, Zemus is not that scary, though. I mean, he looks imposing, but he he's actually quite thin. Quite, like, like, like healthy looking. He's, he's not very imposing. Yeah, he doesn't. Well, yeah, Zemus does not look the same as the other Lunarians. He looks like, he looks like he's, uh, well, he looks like he's lived at the lo- the center of the moon for thousands of years. And what FF4 does have on FF6 is a playable sin. So, uh, give the win to FF4. As we see, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, go <laughs> ahead, GPS. <laughs> not only a playable sin. But a Sid who isn't just like a complete monster. You mean like a banana Sid? Yeah, banana Sid. Like he's like he did. He's done some genetic experiments on human beings. He's a monster. So we're about to see a, a reprise of a, a game I'd never heard of from before called uh, Lunar the Silver Star, which came out apparently in 1992. So it's a game I probably should have played. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it comes prior to 1994. Yeah, it's very true. So, I I, I, I mean, like, I, I, I knew the something. I knew the Lunar series as those games that I wanted to play, but they were on the PSP, uh, so I could not. Oh, maybe that's what I could blame it on too. Then again, with uh, with the levels that uh, Cecil. And Cecil two are rocking here as well as Edge, uh, even the Eggman. Um, I'm not too too worried, uh, even if uh, Zoramus wants to shake and shout there uh, all he wants. I'm sorry, Luf. I didn't have a, a PSP, so so that's why. Oh, and a great use for the spoon. Sorry, Asuka. The spoon is for throwing, except when you throw it too early. Oh, and, no. And you lose it. That makes me very sad. The spoon is now floating forever into the void. 
Floating forever. Very sad. Counter nuke on Cecil Dose. It's a little bit of damage. So I mean, we're gonna we're gonna see a little bit, probably a different strategy. I mean, I, you know, the foo switch in is a is a little bit odd, um, but I imagine that foo is probably gonna be throwing some uh, some curse, you know, white magic. Uh, we're gonna see zerked up edge and Cecil Cecil, but um, yeah, uh, I think strategy wise, pretty similar to what we saw on lock side. Agreed. Uh, the initial uh, first uh, Big Bang did get nerfed. Uh, Sid is taking a nap. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Cecil Dose is also taking a nap, but uh, looks as though uh, Eggman's there to uh, save the day. Hold on. Wait, Gambit, did you just have to permit the term Sega to be approved in the chat room? Wait, why? What? I'm sorry. I got distracted. <laughs> Gambit had to add permitted term Sega. Was Sega not allowed by Twitch? Is that a banned term? I'm very confused. Twitch, what are you, what are you doing? You don't, people play Sonic on this platform, right? I, I've seen some Sonic before. Uh, yeah, I, he, he got to go fast. Exactly. Uh, I think uh, with uh, Trizerk here, it looks as though he's just so close to 10k per round. I uh, I don't anticipate any problems here. Triple Zerk uh, in the queue. Fu just hanging out, uh, waiting for that big bang. Unless it's like a really big, big bang. Uh, I anticipate everybody surviving and, uh, should be pretty straightforward at this point. Yeah, for sure. I mean, no, you know, uh, Sheep Launcher does not have two Crystal Swords, but he does have a Crystal Sword and an Excalibur. Uh, I'm not going to say an Excalibur is an inferior weapon uh, ever. So, oh, and, you know, Flashbang, Zeromus disappeared into the void. And a GG to Sheep Launcher with an official Discord race bot time of 2 hours, 29 minutes, and 23 seconds. And we are joined, I believe, in the booth by Sheep Launcher. GG to you. Thank you very much. So, uh, fun, fun seed? Yeah, lots of fun. Um, I knew it was going to be trouble early uh, because it started way too nice. And uh, yeah, it devolved from there. Yeah, no, for, for, for sure, Sheep. I think that the fact that you got so far into the seed without seeing one objective, I mean, what 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 were you thinking at that? I think, I think, and I'm trying to think, but your first objective was probably past the 90-minute mark? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm on... Uh, on my timer, it was it was a, a buck thirty uh, that I got my first objective. Yeah, I, I figured it was either, um, and I you know, I just wrapped up. I don't know how Locke did, but I'm I'm sure he did great. You have to tip your hat to him. But um, I, I figured either he was having some issue with it, or um, just that that everything was hiding in a really weird location. But um, you know, you just you try and take what the seed gives you. You try to, uh, I try to play solidly, um, as solidly uh, as I can. I made uh, a bunch of mistakes, but uh, you know, it's it's one of those things. I don't think you made uh, any real mistakes, sheep. You got just really unfortunate. Um, Locke earlier had had done the keyless tower play. Um, and while he was in uh, Lower Babel, he had taken a, a trap chest and was rewarded with uh, another Crystal Sword. So he had double mm. Crystal Sword Cecil kind nice. of rocking out there. Yeah, I, I figured there would uh, be another Crystal Sword lying around. They seemed to be all over the place on these flags. Um, and I could have uh, I could have done uh, more with that. So uh, less bad loot more good loot i think is the the real the real lesson yeah i mean that's 
I, well, it, it is one of the challenging things with free enterprise that it is very possible to not make any obvious mistakes and still lose a race. Uh, and I think that's pretty much, I mean, that's, that's the situation you found yourself in. I mean, you did, instead of running up tower, you did a grind and that's, you know, very easily a, a situation that even you know, the, the very, the very top runners could have found themselves in. Uh, so not a bad play, but it just, it, in this, in this very specific seed was not the right play. It's, um, it's it's a you know rent that's that's kind of the both the frustrating part and the 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 reason why we play random randomizers yeah but that z fight was fun oh yeah definitely uh power overwhelming trizer uh i uh i said uh at the time i was like i i don't anticipate any issues i I've, I've done this similar strategy uh, myself before and it it always seems to work out well yeah i i um, I like Power Overwhelming Z. Uh, the issue is just the time it takes to get there. <laughs> yeah, I guess the only, uh, the only, probably the only question I would have for you is why, why choose Fu at the end instead of maintaining the the pure the pure white page at the end? Uh, because I knew with my Triserkers I didn't need a ton of HP uh, to do anything with. Uh, Fu already had Cure 4. I don't think I even had Cure 4 on Porum uh, at that point. So uh, I just figured uh, get a Cure 4, get a Life 2, and uh, get a potential uh, Black Mage in there as well. Yeah, and that's that's certainly what was missing from the seed uh, the whole time is, is any kind of viable Black Mage. Uh, most... Uh, most painfully in the uh, in the Luca cave, where both both you and and Locke had to do the painful walk out of the, out of that. <laughs> yeah, I. It's been a long time since I've had to walk out of out of Luca cave uh, like that. It it um, it's good to do every once in a while. It it, it kind of uh, makes your your fingers move in a way they're they're not used to. Muscle confusion. Yeah, I, I I I tagged that similarly with the walk out of the uh, the barren waterway when when that that becomes a viable play, <laughs> completely completely not used to doing that uh, dungeon backwards. Well, this was uh, a lot of fun. Um, I appreciate everybody hanging around. Uh, thanks, Gun to Pilots Baz and this guy uh, for. Uh, Philly Samir, and uh, thanks Ground Flyer for uh, keeping track of it all. I think it was a 16 out of 17 for me. I don't know what Locke did. Um, and thanks Gambit for rolling this this seed. This monster. Well, thank you so much, Sheep. Without you uh, volunteering to uh, to be restreamed there, um, as uh, I've said, it's just me and uh, GPS uh, talking about memes and Chris Sword Cecil and Playable Gobez for, for a couple of hours. So we, we really appreciate it. Um, and uh, just uh, make sure everybody to uh, to give Sheep Launcher a follow. He's a really awesome runner. Just, you know, sometimes a randomizer, you get unlucky and, uh, and that happens. So uh, good luck to you in the next round. Um, we'll be finding out those uh, really, really soon. And uh, any final thoughts? Yeah, I mean, uh, I knew coming in, uh, it'd be it'd be a rough go. I've had two uh, fantastic opponents um, against me, and now my back is up against the wall. Uh, but all I can do is just uh, try again next time. So uh, I'll keep on doing that. Thank you. Oh yeah, and you know, um, with you know, early on in this tournament, being two, uh, zero and two is is really nothing nothing to be ashamed of. There's there's so many absolutely incredible runners including yourself in that 0 and 2 pool and uh it's it's just kind of the nature of swiss that some people have to take those losses early on yeah i say next time we go austrian if this is what swiss does <laughs> always drop that in feedback and ideas they they <laughs> love that channel or maybe neapolitan that's, that's not too far from switzerland right naples anyway 
<laughs> that, that involves geography, and I think uh, 1 a.m. Eastern is way too late to be doing geography. Well, it sounds like you're on the uh, the wrong time zone, but uh, thanks. <laughs> Thanks for uh, for uh, lasting into the late hours with me, and uh, uh, thanks a lot. Have a good one. Thank you. You as, you as well, Sheep. Uh, have a, a wonderful evening. So, Nitsky, we've come to the end of another wonderful free enterprise race. Um, I think I think a race that really really highlighted how two talented runners could. Uh, can really just approach a seed very differently and, and end up end up with very different times, but still, you know, n neither runner really made any any glaring mistakes. No, nope. uh, absolutely. Unfortunately, we didn't get the dream of Cheeky D Mist, but uh, I'm still holding out hope. But uh, other than that, uh, this seed definitely did not disappoint. And if you're watching the VOD, thank you uh, again for watching. And uh, thank you, everybody in chat. I believe, um, GPS, you know uh, where we're going to be kicking it over to? If you want to let everybody know that. That's right. So, we, uh, so uh, we're going to be kicking over to a, uh, a marathon going on right now. There's no reset. No reset speed run marathon. It's uh, it's benefiting, and this is a French word, so excuse me. I should know how to I should know how to say French words. I, I work for a French company, but uh, Les Petits Roses 2021, which is it's a it's a foundation to promote education and development of children with intellectual disabilities, uh, including you know autism and uh, in during all stages of their lives. So very. Uh, a very uh, worthy cause and uh and something that uh you know we want to we want to benefit as much as we can they did just finish up their free enterprise race they are starting up with a castlevania symphony of the night nice race which i will be tuning in for uh that's one of uh one of the favorite games of my uh you know my middle school days excellent uh les petits rois would be probably how you sound that as a that Can sounds more french than the way i said it yeah as a as a canadian i uh i was uh glorious enough to take about nine years uh worth of french in, in school nine, up. nine years worth of french that's that's incredible yeah, but I'm I'm not as good as as people actually in Quebec. I just can uh, I can read words in French, okay. But uh, yeah, definitely sounds like a, a great great uh, great cause, and uh, thank you to them for uh, allowing us uh, to be in their world. And uh, we're more than happy to uh, repay the favor. So uh, with that, uh, thanks again to Grandfather Flyer who initially didn't have to push the buttons, but then did. Um, thanks to Gambit. Thanks again to uh, my co commentator uh, Gundam Pilot Spaz. And uh, I wish you all a uh, good night.